Welcome to the Invasion Session 3 Part 2. It's 29th of April 2020. I am Ryan the GM. Here are the players. Hello, my name is Gregor. I am playing Adair, uh, Air Genasi. Turns out he's a bit of a rogue. Hey, I am Scott. I am playing a psychopathic gnome who is an artificer. Called Tink. Or Alvin. Or whatever he gets called nowadays. Student killer. <laughs> to soon, bro. One. Student killer. I am C Cognac, the barbarian, played by Callum McDonald. Good evening. My name's Alexander, and I'm playing Fleabite, the Skaven, who's still fairly terrible at everything. Hi, I'm Ewan, and I'm playing Layuda, who's a Loxodon druid, who's basically the Black Panther of Elephant Lip Wakanda. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Callum Blaine, and I will be playing Thea, the priestess of chaos. He's really happy she's going to be in a boat. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the calmest intro you've ever done. <laughs> it's like, have you just been replaced by a robot or no, something? No, there will be reasons for that. Him. Ooh. Foreshadowing. <laughs> I just realized I noticed earlier you said something about you missed the sea and now we're getting on a boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's almost like the coincidence. Background was involved somehow. I think. Oh, oh my god, she's a mer she's a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Logic by Alvin, right? Um. <laughs> no, that's just straight up logic by Scott. So quick, someone spray her with something salty. When you use... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm okay. surprised at the delay between that. So a hundred damage, and what do people oh, do sorry. when they leave <laughs> the city chambers? Well, I ran after Thea, so I'd like you know catch up with her. I'm assuming, well. Thea, where were you going? Straight to the docks. Yo. Uh, yeah, so I'd meet you at the docks, and I'd just be like... No, I mean, like, she won't get to the docks by the time you run out of the chambers. Oh, right, okay. It's a Not city. Downstairs. Yeah. I, I... How I, slow is it? Like, I, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just judging it by how close I live to the sea, and I'm like, yeah, I can see it from my house. Uh, right, uh, yeah, I'd just catch up with Thea, and be like... So, boats... I think she just start like kind of giggling a little bit. Mm. She's got her happy face on as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I have not been on a boat in some time. Like me and water, not the best of friends. And then I just kind of like gesture towards my height. The last time you were on a boat was maybe when you were sent away by Starling. Yeah, it's probably not good memories. No. I just realized that was Ryan saying that. <laughs> but not, not God, your brain, like your yeah. conscience. Oh my God, I Who's am so talking. How I RP whenever you speak now. <laughs> um, See, I was going to say that Alvin has an issue with semen. But then no, you thought you better of no, it and we no, moved on. No, you, 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 you can't. No, you've already made that joke once. So. Yeah, I think Thea would just like turn around and say, it's felt like an age and just like she's she's like speed walking and i'll be like look at her i'm like i'm 117 how oh 118 uh i'm like i think we ate like i think an age is different to me and you she I'll, doesn't respond to that <laughs> no i'll just be like i'll be like kind of lagging behind it. I'm like, wait up! And just like, kind of running to catch up more. And uh, then it will fade to someone else. Yeah, it's the wait or just the walk off. Oh, Thea's walking. She's, she's got a, she has her destination in mind. She knows what she wants. She's going to get it. Mm. Okay. What about everybody else then? Where do we find everybody else? Well, the leaving group, um, I mean, I know it was Cognac and... Uh... Fleabag. Fleabite were last in the chamber, so did uh, sorry, 
Lauda. 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 Thank you. Lauda. Uh, Lauda. Uh, did me and Lu Lauda leave at the same time? Pretty much. Yeah. So we would walk down the stairs together, um, but would we have seen Alvin and uh, Tia below so we could shout them to? You know, uh, they've probably already left the building. These are probably just leaving the they building, would have left. and they've maybe like started walking back towards the docks. Yeah, so you'd need to like run to catch up, but you live at the docks, so it's not like that's not the way you're going anyway. We should probably head back to um, the warehouse, gather some supplies before we head to the ship. I agree completely. Good, because it's going to be a long travel. Indeed. And I can't swim. I can't swim. Yet. Cool. We're getting done. Uh, uh, can we pick up life wings? Like, devices? <laughs> Just put your yeah. arms through barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Little barrels. Just hold, on, yeah. just hold on to the elephant or the turtle who can swim. Can the elephant Why would it just said, hi. He just said he doesn't think he can swim. Honestly, I, Scott, I think he's just so drunk. But elephants are but elephants are naturally amazing swimmers. I know. Him an elephant. He's a, he's a loxodon, not an elephant. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, you racist. racist. Okay, so is that, is that is that the trait you didn't get over from elephants? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Ooh. So. Um. How far behind are um, Cognac and Fleabite from us? I mean, you are probably leaving the actual like city chamber building by the time like you know they're walking down the stairs. So you are probably quite close together. It was just the left pretty okay. early. Um, well, Lida, I'm happy to wait for Fleabite and Cognac so we can discuss everything together. Lida, the elephant stares off into the distance. Sure. Lida, thinking about drowning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just sort of turn around and look back, waiting for them. Cool. Um, because we know that, let's face it, Tink's very small, so he doesn't travel quickly, and uh, Thea is dead set on going to the water, they're not going to go to the warehouse or anything, but they're probably on foot. Should we get transport so, so we can... You wouldn't know back? where Thea's really heading, because Thea never actually said where she was going, so literally Thea could just end up anywhere in the city based on her like natural ability to do whatever the hell she wants whenever she wants so it's hard to tell where Thea would end up in the city but after a year we know she loves water do you though is that something Thea's shared with the, the party that's a question we could get Calum to answer for us just now um I don't think she's actively said anything about it but I think maybe um from time to time like members of the party have seen her like because the, the warehouse is on the docks yep. so maybe she has just been like the few moments of like complete like um seemingly calmness comparative to 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 normal Thea um has been heard like just standing at the docks. Would you have put a that... mask on? Sorry. Hmm? When staring off into the sea, would you have put a certain face on? Because don't you switch faces? Mm -hmm. Um she would not be wearing a mask. Mask Ooh, off. Well, that tells you more than you need to. Off. Yeah, it's quite that's quite a big deal, yeah. I got a feeling that Lyuda would have been in the in the year sort of practicing and almost like meditating whilst using magic to make sure that well not to make sure it works, but just practicing. Um and a couple of spells it learned is to create water and control water. Would Thea have been interested in that kind of magic? Not at all. Okay. Cool. Not even interested. Thank you. Wrong kind of water. <laughs> Not enough salt in it. I was actually <laughs> given the wrong kind of water. <laughs> Who said that? Um, yeah, so I think uh, Fleabite and Cognac can catch up with the other two and you can head wherever you want to head or if you want to chat well, on the way, yeah. Gentlemen, should we get transport back to the warehouse or should we try and catch up with the other two? Um, all right. Keeping in mind that um, Tink can't move as quickly as others. I'm not, I'm not that bad. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gesture to my shoulders. <laughs> I mean, Tink isn't there, though. 
Tink's away with Thea. Yeah, uh, we need to catch up with Tink, uh, but he moves slower than we do. So in theory, we might be able to... Also, the streets I mean, would have people, so we could ask which way they went and try and catch up with them, or we could just head to the warehouse. Um, Thea seemed interested in the boat. I think we're mm -hmm. safe enough to head to the warehouse, gather some gear and head to the boat. Yeah. Hope she's there. I mean, she I'd be going... which boat. I mean, I'd be going to the warehouse because that's where all my stuff is, so. We'll end up Thea wherever. doesn't know which boat. Nope. Yeah, Only no, you no. have that info. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thea stormed out before that, so it's like we need mm -hmm. to catch her, otherwise she's going to get done for stealing some random chip. Remember, I just I just said that we're, I was going, like, we're heading to the docks. Ryan, the GM. Is, that's me. Is there a fishing shop in town? A fishing shop that sells fishermen or large. that sells fishing poles and fishing equipment. Uh, that is a good idea. Probably, yeah. I just say to the the rest of the group, I could attempt to catch up with you and meet you at the warehouse. But do you are you good at tracking? I can turn myself into a fox. And dash. Okay. Cool. Um. If you wish to do that, that'd be awesome. Um, so catch up with Thea, let her know we're going to meet at the warehouse and agree to all meet at the warehouse and then make a plan from there. Sure. Uh, wild shape into a fox and bound off. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what about Tink? Oh, Tink said he was going to the warehouse. Yeah, but obviously you don't know where I'm going, but that is, you know, outside of character that I've said that. I'll squeak at him if I go past yeah, what that. does the fox say? Nope, banned. No <laughs> longer. Foxes don't no exist God. anymore. <laughs> Man, a fox thing. Let's meet you back. Foxes don't back. exist in this world, so you just ruined that all. <laughs> <laughs> I know secret passage street. I make you go fast, fast. Let us go, go. Oops. <laughs> mm, I wish we had got him elocution lessons. Mm, over a year now. Hmm. I think maybe it's just that Flipout just chooses not to get better at speaking. <laughs> I don't blame him. Why would he want to? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, never paste that in ever again. Dear God, that is yeah, a sorry, that was block. Yeah, well. I was just like, wow. <laughs> I get that Wild Shape is complex. My God. It's like I've... those Facebook posts that never end. Yeah. <laughs> it's an accident, I'm sorry. That's okay, it's just I've never actually had to look at it before, and dear God, wow. <laughs> That's what I had to read when I got this. Um, I also found this, which seems okay enough. Anyway, so I'll send this to you. Paragraph and roll 20. Yeah, no, we've, we've, we've about, literally sorry. just spoke about that, yeah. So there, sorry, Ewan, that's for you. I that screen. Cool. Yeah, it's good enough. Um... Oh, Fox. Oh, yeah, it's got the same movement speed. That's good. I was going to say, it's, it seems okay. It's basically a car. Uh, yeah. Minus the climbing speed. Which makes sense. So yeah, cool. So his head where? Right. I know that Cognac said he wanted a fishing pole. So, but we will meet up at the warehouse. Let's focus on Cognac, as I was saying. Oh, sorry. I think personally, in character, that we'll all end up at the same place eventually, anyway. So that's I'll a bit just... meta. <laughs> no, like I think. <laughs> Like, knowing that we're going to get a ship and knowing that we need to get our All stuff. of your stuff lives at the warehouse, yeah. Exactly, so. so we're going to all end up at the warehouse at some point. Mm -hmm. So, I think, I just say, I want to fish, and that I'm going to the fishing shop. Sure, yeah, you can go buy yourself a fishing rod. It's an open invitation for anyone else to come along. Where are you saying this, sorry? Where are you right now? No, you're not with, with you, so... <laughs> right, okay, no worries. Right, sorry. Yeah, I'm with Fleabite and Ayer. Mm -hmm. So, I see I'm saying it to them. Right, okay. back to Nest Ward. Must go, go. <laughs> so does Fleabite run off then? Uh, Not yet, just as we were discussing you know, like where we're going to go. I'm mm -hmm. just checking, checking where I want. Okay. Else. Well, I'll happily, I'll happily go back to the warehouse and relay that Cognac's gone for fishing gear. Um, 
the fishing gear you're going for, Cocknack, is this like fishing rod or fishing nets for like on ships kind of stuff? Or? It's definitely a rod, but I'm open to anything that would work in catching well, fish. If we're going for a month on a ship, like yeah. a big kind of fishy netty thingy? But bother? that would require us to like adjust something to the ship. So it's just, I'm, I'm just going to go there and see what I can come across. Oh, so he gets to be the cool. old man turtle at the end of the ship with his fishing pole. Yeah. Dream. Nice dream. Time's gone by. <laughs> Anytime that fish gets away, he dives in after it. And... <laughs> so, <laughs> characters. Comes one the ocean. How does this play out? Right. Fox beast thing. Want to race race to warehouse home ne nest. I'm trying to find Thea. Yeah. So has the fox run away yet? Because you obviously I've can't speak away, as yeah. a fox. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah. I'm trying to oh, sniff okay. out Thea. Give me a perception check. Then. Yep, sure. Uh, I get advantage on this. Mm-hmm. Because oh. because fox, yeah. Because fox, yeah. Uh, oh, my internet has gone down. Yeah, so you find Thea, like eventually, but obviously we'll get to that. So everybody else, as the fox has run off. Sorry, how do I roll as the animal? Oh, is that as you? That was as me, yeah. Well, is the modifier any different? It's minus two compared to that. Okay. So it's plus three, not plus five. So it's a 12 is what you're saying? Yeah. Cool, I'll just put it in. Cool. Yeah, it just takes you a bit longer to find her. That's all. Okay. Um, but yeah, so Cognac, you head off to go get yourself a fishing rod. Yeah. Um, and that nope, that's it. I just need confirmation on how we break up the scene of repeating the same things again and again to each other. <laughs> Adair wants to head back to the the warehouse. The yeah, fox has run off and flea bite. Flea Blue elf thing. Want to race, race to. Home Warren. Blue Elf thing? How dare you, sir? I'm a Genasi. <laughs> the wind <laughs> picks up a bit, I guess, when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Wind thing. Yeah, you're a simpleton, but okay. Do you want a juggler? Care to make bet wager? Yes, yes. No. What am I? Simple? Slow, slow, think lose, lose. Well, why would that make me want to bet on it? As I wink at you. <laughs> Wind thing, slow, weak. I win, win. Sir, when it comes to real competition, I have you matched. If not beaten already. First time he's ever been. But not in race, race. Why would I want to race you? We have to preserve who we are. We're going through the city. Look dignified, sir. Walk with pride. Meh, sneak, sneak, shadows. Win, win, race. Ah, but you have to choose when to go into the shadows versus walking with pride, knowing fine well. We've just been hired by the ruler of the city. Meh, elf, elf. Elf, elf. Yes. They, they lie, deceive, elf -elf. steal cheap. Well, they're good at business. They're, I mean, it's almost like the Tory party. No, a bad it. Yeah, I hate them, but still. Let's not bring it into the, the elves game. Elves are Tory. Elves are Tories. Let's not bring oh. it into the game. <laughs> and let's move on. Uh, I, sir, I'm not going to race you. I will happily walk with you back to our home. Because why should we race? <laughs> Fleabite, win-win race. Fleabite, check your wallet. Is it even still there? And at this point, I feel like I should do a roll for slight hands, but I'm not going to. I just want to mess with his head. I love how you're going on about being prideful and you're, you know, and you're basically thieving him already. No, no, no. Also, Scott, I said, no, there's I just no want king to mess with his head. It's a council that run the city. I feel like that's come up a lot. By now. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just um, I'm. <laughs> was it just my per my perception is like not good, but my sleight of hand is good. 
which which would that sort of play into? See, for what? Sorry, I... no. For for what, Alexander? For for me knowing whether he's tried to steal from me. You would just check your stuff, and it's all still there. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to mess with your head, Felipe. Yeah, he's not actually stealing from me. Just saying that. Yeah. Really, what you should have done for humorous effect is say that, then run. <laughs> if he was going to, but I'm sticking to my yep. guns. I'm yep. not running right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I would have seen the TV episode. But yeah, that's, I'm not playing it yeah. there. So, um, <laughs> like, well, I've stolen well, your wallet. Bolts. <laughs> Fleabite would have stopped, checked all his stuff while I kept walking. It's like I'd have shouted back, "I'm in the lead." Mm -hmm. Thanks, Fleabite. You're just standing by yourself now. I think. Yeah, just, I, I will just do a quick pat down of on my stuff. Yeah, and, and whatever then, you brought to the council chambers with you, you still have here. Yeah. And then can I just um, bolt back to the um, the house? Like full speed, yeah. And well, also. Uh, And then when I when I inevitably get there first, I'll just like go to sleep for a while <laughs> until he gets there. Yeah, you can definitely get there quickly. You probably have to like run. As he bolts past me, thinking he's in a race, whereas I'm just like, ah, oh, I like him. You know, I've just got a pleasant smile on my face as I'm not. I'm strolling. giving you the finger as I go by. <laughs> That's okay. I just like I'll see you later. I'll steal your chat. <laughs> And like as like Fleabite uh, runs by, then just like take ducks into like an alleyway, as well. And you're like, that's not the way home. <laughs> um, <laughs> and off Fleabite goes. Um, yep. But yeah, so Cognac, spend fishing rod money, and then you have a fishing rod. If it's that simple, yeah. Yeah, it, it, and, unless you want to go harass a fishing shop merchant. Could I buy several? Yeah, just spend um, several gold worth of fishing rod money. However much your fishing rod costs. Well, I'd like it to be a good fishing rod, so. I'll just check the player's handbook and then find mm -hmm. the value of the fishing rod item and then uh, buy it. Oh, deal! It's ninety-nine percent off. Wow. I don't <laughs> think that's even in the player handbook. Actually, you know, it's oddly not. Um... I have a good one. You need to add a hundred gold to the cost. Then <laughs> becomes the fishing rod plus one minus one. I could perhaps get five fishing rods. <laughs> so, like, fishing tackle, as it's described. I can find fishing tackle, yeah. Yep, as it's like described, is one, is one gold. Yeah, I would quite like to purchase five. That would be five gold. Yeah. Oddly. Wow. I'm so, fishing tackle. This kit includes a wooden rod, silken line, corkwood bobberers, steel hooks, lead sinkers, velvet lures, and narrow netting. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's a whole load of fishing stuff. So you buy five fishing kits, essentially. Yep. Cool, yeah. You probably get some weird looks. And then, I think the person in the shop, who's possibly some elder fishing looking man and he looks you up and down as he's, he's putting up all the, the fishing tackle kits on the, the counter for you and he's like you like fish eh? He just looks you up and down as you're that maybe that quiet scene of you and him staring at each other because obviously you're a giant turtle <laughs> we chuckle and then World's my oyster. <laughs> okay. Star Wars nod. <laughs> Weirdly, I was nodding, and obviously you just can't see that, but um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw it. Oh, my. <laughs> That's why that <laughs> light's on my web camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was where that subscription money came from. Um, but yes, so with that, the old man kind of just like puts his pipe back in his mouth and puffs a couple of times and nods, says, best day you can have, and just nods to the door. Uh, and that's just a phrase used by older people to say, have a good day. I turn to the door and then turn back to him and oh. say, 
You would, by chance, know anything about sea fishing. Deep sea fishing. Very deep sea fishing. <laughs> He's like, moves the, the pipe with his tongue like from one side of his mouth to the other. And like kind of scratches the side of his head as he's leaning on the kind of countertop and say, It's been a while since I've been on the seas. I um, don't have the knees for it anymore, unfortunately. And uh, the wife, you know, doesn't think she wants to wait up on me much longer. So, no, I, I kind of stick to the, the shore fishing now, unfortunately. Mm hmm. And you can see he's clearly lost in some kind of like nice memory that he maybe had. <laughs> he had good needs for the seas. Good needs for the seas. Yeah, I've got the memory song song, man. Memories <laughs> are alone <and> <laughs> <laughs> We don't want that. So, uh... <laughs> Seeing him lost in deep thought and having acknowledged that he used to mm -hmm. sail the seas a little. Could I ask him if he knows much about the journey between the two cities we are bound to travel. You can. How do you phrase that? <laughs> What's the name of the city? <laughs> you remember the name of the city? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. Yeah, right. It's almost Rundstad. like I could tell. <laughs> Runestad. Have you ever been to uh, Runestad by sea? What's the journey like? I'm going to shake his uh, like head a bit, it's like, picks his pipe out of his mouth, like, Runestad. Strange people. Aye. Not known for their fishing. Aye. He kind of just puts his pipe back in his mouth. Hmm, aye. Aye. Yes. And he kind of just, like, starts tapping the counter. I leave five gold and walk out. Like an additional five gold? No, 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 just the five gold I had to pay. Well, I assume you'd already mm. paid him yeah. since, you know, you had started <laughs> walking towards the door and then you stopped and turned back. So is this an additional five gold? Or is this, you Perhaps know... an extra get, single get gold. Get the man some copper. for the reminiscent. Yeah. The sailorly talk. Yeah, the... Sharing of memories and such. Right, so you leave him an extra wee gold, and he says, "Ah, very generous. I hope your your bucket's full." And he kind of like chuckles to himself. <laughs> leave the shop. Yeah, the shop also leaves and moves to another city. <laughs> <laughs> Both moved on. Yep. It was meant to be that way. What did it made in a while? Turns away and is like, "Wait a minute, there was never a fishing shop." <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, so, Adair, are you doing anything on your way back to the uh, warehouse since you are also alone? Uh, well, whilst alone, I'm actually I'm just thinking about the kind of supplies we're going to possibly need for this long voyage. Mm. Um, I'm going to say for the sake of convenience as well, you were probably given like a piece, like a scroll of some kind that had the ship info on it, right? Like I feel like that was handed okay. to somebody before they left. Probably you because you're the one that said, cool, we'll do with that when we come back. She went, yeah, cool, here's the details. I think that okay. probably makes sense that you so have some of that. would have info of what the ship's stocks are like? 100%, um, yeah. Yep, right. there's enough to get you. Because like There are like generic rations stocked on board for the sake of right. you won't starve sailing there and back. If you got there and then just spent like years there, then maybe you will starve if you don't find other food, you know? Cool. So as long as we know the ship is stopped, uh, the Thea, Thea can uh, navigate the ship. And That's a question, safely. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um <clears throat> Basically, that's what's crossing my mind. Uh, I'd like to meet everyone before we just randomly set off, but as long as we've got all bases covered, uh, like the gear, even that I know cognac has gone for, I'd like to think is for deep sea fishing, not fishing off a pier. I or mean, in a pond. it's not for deep sea fishing. It's literally the items I described. <laughs> so, it just depends where cognac is with the rod. Is he at yes. the bottom of the sea with the rod, just standing there? Like, I weirdly thought this would be more fun. <laughs> if you can hold his breath that long and survive the pressure, then I'm, I'm cool I can with hold that. Breath for an hour. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Uh, and Alvin, can, we can throw him in the water. He's got that bubble. And also now has a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I can use my trunk as a snorkel. Mm. Also true, probably. <laughs> but yeah, so if there's nothing you're doing in the city, then yeah, I guess you just head back to the warehouse. Nope, it just, just leaves the channel, in fact. Yeah, yeah. apparently so. Okay. Bye. Yeah, so I think maybe Flea White probably oh. arrives at the house first, uh, the warehouse. Uh, yes, yes, win race. <laughs> Sorry, Discord. That's fine. Off again. So yeah, Flea White, anything you're doing at the home base? Um, having a good scratch, probably. <laughs> probably, like eat something and then just sleep. Yeah. So I think like maybe you like start like nesting up as a uh, Thea and Alvin like get to the, the warehouse. Did I catch up with them? Uh no, not yet. Okay. What did the fox catch? Nothing. Like knowing what way they went, I mean so you actually caught up with them. You just got there like you you'll be like next in line, essentially. Fair enough. Yep. I mean, you can meet them at the door, I guess, if that's something before they go in. Yeah. I was just sort of thinking because I turned into a fox and ran mm. <laughs> with forty movement speed. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Thea was going straight to look at ships. She wasn't <laughs> heading to to the warehouse. Sorry. Yeah, but you you're at the dock anyway. All the ships are at the dock, yeah. so it is the same. So yeah, if you don't go into the warehouse, that's fine. You can just have met outside yeah, yeah. It, at the docks. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. cool. So yeah. A fox appears, I guess. I squeak and then rub against Thea's leg. <laughs> I think, w w would that be a, a common occurrence, like, over the past year? of? I have been scouting quite a lot as a fox. Yeah. I would probably be quite recognisable by now. I hope so. <laughs> just, yeah. just, Thea, Thea just kicks the fox into the sea. <laughs> and I'm strike, I've only got three hit points. How does the fox <laughs> fly? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think Thea would just kind of look back in disgust at the the fox like rubbing on her. She's not she's not a fan of that. Just stop it. I do it some more. <laughs> I've heard this fanfic. Yeah, <laughs> I think she. Mm, I feel like she would like wouldn't kick the dog, but kind of kind of push it the, the fox, but push it away with her foot. Sorry, so I don't do you know three damage it. and kill it. <laughs> well, she's kind of just standing, staring at ships. To be honest, yeah. And I sit next to her. That's fine. Alvin, you up to? Do you go with you to the docks specifically, or do you actually go no, into the warehouse? No, I would. I would go back to the warehouse to gather up all my things, and uh, you can't bring the cannon. It's coming. Mm -hmm. I think a ship it. is the prime place to put a cannon. Exactly. Oh, I did Might suddenly think that, but how big is this cannon? Can it can it it's easily tiny. be moved? It's small or tiny? No, it's small. Like, you know. I mean, depending on which one I, I built. Yeah. Well, didn't you say you built the small one? Yes. So it's small. <laughs> mm. I mean, <laughs> actually... <laughs> but so is it still you know bigger what? than Tink? <laughs> no, it's the same size as Tink, because Tink is also small, just like Fleabite is also small. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so I, I, I'd like to just went back there to gather up my stuff. And probably uh, have a look for more rat, like, look for food supplies, things like that. Because currently I have one rations, which is gonna run out. Um, you mean that won't it... last you a month? I take it, Ryan. It will be you that Maybe decides rations. how much rations we have in the house. Yeah, I think it's whatever's on your character sheet because you'd have been eating during this uh, year as well, right? Yeah, most likely. Um, so yeah, okay. maybe you need, maybe you need to go solve that problem for a uh, Alvin. I've, I um, forgot to ask. Uh, Ryan, during this whole year, um, there's the whole how do you live 
Um, I already answered that. Did you? Sorry. Yep. When, I said. Um, was that on something? I, I have no idea. I said um, I answered it in this session. Sorry, part one. Um, that's half the things the council have helped supply you guys with with money to live by working oh, and often being paid for info and stuff. So that's how you oh, have survived up until now. That's um, I kind of meant like, is it? Are we living luxuriously within our means? <laughs> no. With the... He's living in a warehouse that you haven't done up, as you clearly okay, stated so... to the woman in charge of the city. Cool. So that's like what two copper a week or something crazy like that, in, in the D and D world. And remember, you own the warehouse outright, right? You bought that as a one-off. That was a convenient. Let's not have the fucking money game, be the mini game in this. So, mm. yeah. Um. I guess I will go to the uh, local vendor of foods and uh, probably need to look at getting some potions as well. So, yeah, I will go to a uh, shopping of food. Cool. So you're specifically looking for travel rations? So travel rations and I also need potions. Um, on leaving, you... so I've gathered up my things as anyone else gotten back to the warehouse before I leave? Then I'll just flee by its snore. Uh, you're always a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think you can, when, hear, in, you can hear flea bite snoring. In, in, in <laughs> this right, sort of place. Like... Not out on patrol, but in, in the nest. Flea bite! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get food. You might. You come in. You have food. Bring food. Food, food. food. Bring, bring. No, 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 no. Food, food for the trap. Food, food bring. For right now. You bring me food. Food now. Yes, yes. You need food for the trap. Yes, yes. Bring food now, now. You, you gonna come get some? And cause I don't have money for me, bro. Food, food. Okay, and then I just kind of like, sort of like leave. Um, how close are we to the docks? Like, would I be in? Like, you know, if Thea like, fell out of her window, she'd be in the water. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess I would go find Thea, and I'm I'm assuming I haven't run into anyone else. Um, yeah, probably like a, a deer and stuff is probably like heading back if you yeah. walk out. Yeah. Mm. By the time he's gathered stuff, would I have arrived at the warehouse? Mm. Yeah, probably. I yeah. Mean, yeah. You tell you tell us. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I'd just kind of be like do the rounds and be like, right, uh, guys, we need supplies. I need food. I uh, think the vessel that's being supplied has. Well, quite a lot of things on it. Uh, salted meats, uh, bread, uh, barrels of water and whatnot. Uh, the councillor has seen to our needs for the ship. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you, 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 you know where the ship is? Yes, we have the name. Uh, we have some details in a letter here. Let's go um, look at the ship! <laughs> is and I just kind of like jump Can up. Can I hear that? I kind of like jump up, snatch the letter out of Dare's hand, mm. and just kind of like start fast pacing and like. Uh, no, because they're in the warehouse there. That's why you can't hear that. You're all right. They're in the warehouse. Yeah. Okay. Yes, um, so, Ryan, uh, yes we, sir. Could we maybe get a visual of this letter from the councillor? Just a rough guide of what it's got on it, like ship name, storage, uh, the size of the ship. You know that kind of. I just need the ship name and the dock number. <laughs> Yeah, I was I'm just it. asking for the whole party. So if I say, like, here's a letter from the councillor, then we could send that around the group chat. Or, <laughs> yeah. or something. I mean, I feel like it says what? it's the Fandango and lists yeah. nebulously the rations you have to get the rations. trip completed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, I uh, it's a good letter. It's, like it's it. fantastic because this isn't the let's play inventory management game for for right. trips far right. away. I'm a See the, for details, I'm the sorry. amount of times I changed the location of Runestad on the goddamn world map because I'm like, how far away am I putting this? 
how far away do I want them to travel? <laughs> how long is it going to take? Right? Yeah, so, yeah. Remember, so, I DM as well. Details, the, the, everything's in the details, man. Sometimes they're so, needed. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes, you know, mm. they can feel right. Um So anyway, user in there discussing the fact that Tink's about to bolt out the door as he walks into no, no. Adair. Tink, sir, do not. What? Do not go. We The ship has all the foods. I want you to focus on what we need for when we get to the other side. Well, I was going to go buy potions and food, but now I don't need food. So potions it is! And then I just jog like on. jog on and go go to the, you know, mm -hmm. alchemists. See so, yeah, what you're doing at the docks. Oh, so there's a fox um, with you. I think, I think it, like, after a while, um, I think, you know, after said like getting annoyed at the, the, the fox, I think eventually she would just bend down and scratch it behind the ear. Yeah, you've maybe got about 15 minutes of being a fox left. Probably. Maybe less. Nope. Unless you obviously um, use wild shape again to stay fox. I make a, a happy fox noise. Thea is wearing her happy face. Um, so, you know. Nice. Um, and I think she's going to like just look at look at the ships on the docks. And I, saw, I heard what, what ship it is, right? Mm, probably. Yeah. yeah. I think I she's just going to start walking towards ships. I'll walk along, and if I notice the one that is ours, I will sort of like make noises and run at it. Sure, yeah, you probably do. It's easy enough. Do they need the letter though to probably. justify why they're on that ship? Yeah, probably. I was going to say the letter probably has a segment of the council. Yes, yeah, so well, this, this is like you know. And here's ran off with a here's receipt for it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess. I, I'm going to. Yeah, also, that's the thing I need to clarify. Did a dare give Tink the letter, or just read the letter to Tink? I grabbed that. I and read. Okay. You didn't run off with it though, did you? Yep. I wouldn't have let him run off with it. I mean, what um, I think you're saying is you. Buy potions. I think you're chasing a gnome. Is what I heard. I'm. I'm chasing a gnome. <laughs> give me that letter back, Tink. Don't set it on fire. Where does it set it on fire? I need it to know where I'm going after. Yeah, valuable yeah, this I've is known valuable you for a year. You burn stuff. No, I don't. Mm. I just have like explode things. <laughs> don't explode the letter from the counselor. We need that. Give me that letter back. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm, it's fine with me. It's fine. It's fine. I wouldn't hurt knowledge. I like you're going knowledge. Tink, you're going to the potion shop. I'm going to wear the warehouse for the others. G give me the letter so mm -hmm. as I can show the others the letter. You do realize, like, I'm still, like, stomping away. I'll be like, fine, here you go, and just kind of, like, throw it behind me. That's fine, as long as I catch it and it's not... Wait, what, can... what are the streets like? Uh, muddy or stolen or paved or...? Uh, the docks is a bit of a mix. Um, Make him do athletics. But primarily, it's like you know, keep in mind there is a storm overhead, mm -hmm. so windy is what it is. Windy. Do I need to make a, like a dex check to make sure I catch? No, if you athletes. just tell me you just dedicate the next five minutes to making sure you have it, I'm happy with it. I, I have it. I have yeah. the letter. Cool. Oh. Yeah. I think maybe when you f you stop running around for like a couple of minutes trying to grab the thing, you then just notice okay. Thea and a fox off in the distance up a pier. Ah, my colleagues, good, I shall... Thea will want to know the name of the ship, as she's going to be the captain. So I'll make my way over with the letter to Thea. Fleabite, doing anything inside? Um, kind of, just um, looking on, but then I realised that the, the small thing didn't have food for me. It lost interest in everything that was going on, and went back to scratching and doing a sneeze. So you're just staying in the, the warehouse? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Maybe not actually falling asleep now that everyone's all around and... No, everyone's left again. Trying. Like, they've come in, made noise and left. Okay. Well, I'm just sort of dozing, not actually asleep. Now. Just relaxing. By now, Fleabite would know I wouldn't leave him behind. Also, Fleabite, you did probably overhear there's a ship full of food, so... Food food. <laughs> 
Lots of Don't roleplay back to me. That's still going through my head. <laughs> it's, it's not quite percolated through yet. Um, He's a wee bit too sleepy. Lyuda, you're running out of fox time. Um, as Do we find the boat, yeah? Yeah. Told you I didn't take okay. one. As uh, guards? Yes. Okay. As so I get... walk up to them, I turn back into an elephant man. Cool. They probably like uh, turning like hand on swords and shit like that. Like what the fuck? As people are moving. Got a good time for me to run up with the letter. Yeah, you could probably running up behind them as well. You're maybe like you're still you're definitely like mm -hmm. audible distance away. Um, there's people moving stuff back and forth onto the ship and whatnot. It's not a big. It's aggression. not like a massive pirate ship or anything. This is like a fairly small, like could be manned by two people. S scooter. Ship. S mm -hmm. Scooter. Okay. Scooter. Yeah. That's I think Thea would walk up beside. Layuda and just say, We're taking the ship! In the distance you hear, We have authority! Uh, you're not that far away. Like, if you shouted, you'd be heard. Um... Okay. We have authority, as I wave the letter around. Yes, we have authority. And I think, like, a, like a small, like, glowing, maybe a sort of small red orb would be appearing in her hand. Yeah, like what? Oh yeah, um, just yeah. This not not mecha mechanically. It's just thingy. That's how she gets her axe. So are you summoning Visually. the axe, or no? Yeah, I'm like, what? like pre-summoning <laughs> the axe. Your glowing an orb in your hand is threatening. And... Yeah, well, they're they're holding their weapons, so I put like... my hands out in front of me and just be like, whoa. They have their hands on. The hilts of their swords. Oh, sorry. I thought you said they took their weapons out. Sorry, I no, misunderstood. It's why none of those words come out of my mouth. <laughs> ah, okay. I it's a, I, it's nope, a that rare happen, too, but you know. Oh, can I run up right next to Thea at that point of the glowing red hand? Just go, put your other face on. Put your other face on. It's cool. Well, I hand the letter, like show them the signet from the council, giving us authority to be at that ship. Yeah, and they look over the letter, um, and the guy says, "Huh." Well, it's pretty much good to go whenever. And kind of, the guy just looks over at the couple of people, like the kind of deck hands that are put, putting stuff on. And it's like, no crew, huh? Good luck. We do need one. You're on their way. The guy's just kind of looking awkwardly between, like, the three of you. Have you not heard of Thea Tor? She is amazing. The two guys look at each other. I am. Um... Give me a second. We'll see how well they know her. Nope. Shit. <laughs> 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 um, Thea just. And they look at each other and go, No, them. should we have? And then she walks back. Thea puts her sad face on as well. For the past year. I'll this the lady, this She's lady onto has the ship. protected the city. She <laughs> is by far the greatest of all of us for the city. Sure, sign here. <laughs> he hands Do you want like to sign of her to he, sign. He holds a bit of the letter out, um, which is at the bottom. And it's like the the transfer of the fact that the ship's now been stocked and it's in your responsibility now. <sighs> You didn't care anything about the. Uh, you just wanted to see. Why does? Uh, hmm? Why do you care so much about Thea? Actually, I thought I had to sell this situation, but no, the council signet was enough. But I can't help it. I am who I am. Yeah, it's good. It's good showmanship. I like it. Yeah. Um. So, Thea. They don't give a shit about you, so feel free to do what you want to them. That glowing orb thing, whatever it transits into, uh, go for it. Uh, <laughs> but I will sign the letter, and uh, yeah. Was that in character? <laughs> because if you say that, <laughs> yeah, <I'll>... please <laughs> don't do that. See, keep in mind, guys, the reason why those guys rolled was because Thea is a pirate. So that could have been you really bad. They definitely didn't with a one, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, she was an amazing seaman person who... 
I should really stop saying that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's a seafaring sailor, seafaring. Thank you, uh, person uh, with amazing skills who, for the past year, has shown her skills to the city. And what she really says you know, is, should... "Well, I watched people sail ships." <laughs> <laughs> I can't help. I am who I am. I will not <laughs> defend who I am. Uh, right. So, Cognac, where'd you go after the fishing shop? Did you head back to the warehouse to get the rest of your crap? I have two more items I wish to procure. Oh my. Well, she I wa- wish to require to procure some salt and a long, sturdy, strong rope. A long, sturdy, strong rope, as opposed to standard rope. Opposed to the hemp thick rope we all have. To wrap around a turtle. <laughs> 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 I'm kind of assuming a ship would have strong, sturdy rope. Yes. Also, check your Find our anchor replacement. <laughs> He's going to be the anchor. Up to an hour ship. every day. Yep. <laughs> Drop him in and let him hug a rock at the bottom of the ocean. You're doing great, did buddy. Did just visualise that? Because uh-huh. I did, and it's lovely. <laughs> yeah. But now you can buy more rope. Does doesn't? Don't you have a backpack? Um, mm-hmm. No, uh, cognac. Yeah, I have a backpack. Okay, what kind of backpack? My little explorer. So was it an explorer pack you bought? When it's you an adventure thing. I don't, I don't know. So you'd probably have been given the choice when making character that was probably between Dungeoneers and an explorer's pack? It's probably explorer. Explorer <laughs> pack. Adventuring then you've, you've, you've got rope. <laughs> Already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got hemp and rope. There you go. Is that strong? I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's all in the player handbook, buddy. Okay. I'm still needing questions. salt. Yeah, you can go buy salt. Yeah. Also in the player handbook. I was going to say, we're heading to sea. I mean... <laughs> You'd think, right? Yeah. You I mean, can't use sea I'm not water whistle, to salt so. fish, literally. You, you have to have separate salt. But, but the ship's supplied with... Why would no. they supply us with salt? Because it's salted meats. Uh, yeah, it's how you would like keep things preserved, because salt is a preservative. But they're not pre-preserved by the time we get it, because it's already rationed. The ration stuff, yes. But it doesn't mean to say they wouldn't give you supplies to make rations. Uh, also, apparently salt isn't in the book, unless I'm missing it. So, interesting. Really, they're not items. Right, it's not... I, I don't think it's ever come up in any of my games. Yeah, it's a weird one, yeah. isn't it? Mm. I'll have a qu- oh no, yep, trade goods. So, five copper for one oh. pound of salt. Player handbook, trade goods, yeah. Mm-hmm. don't know how much I'd oh, need. Five copper piece for one this, this salt. What's a lid? I just, I just said all that. Five copper for one pound of salt is yep, everything I just and covered. Thank yep. you. Yep, you're welcome. Sorry, I, I hate these measurement e things. I'm terrible at that stuff. So, what else should you buy in Cognac? If you want some salt, spend some money. Five pounds of salt for f- 25 copper, please. Sure. So, do so. Um, I presumably go to the market and run into someone who sells salt and I inquire about it and say, um, how much salt do you have? I'd, I'd love to get some of it, anyway. The um, vendor looks at you and then looks over their shoulder at a bucket full of salt. And it says five copper per pound. And, and a page the reference from the player handbook of 157. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck 25 copper at her. Wow. She keeps that's it and doesn't... Uh, she, she keeps it and doesn't give you it because that's really rude to throw money at somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I chuck another 25 copper. <laughs> you drown her in money eventually, yeah. <laughs> you uh, get your salt for free. But yeah, so <laughs> you can pleasantly exchange money for salt. 
and just remember your factors of 10 for your monies. Because gold is like 10 silver and 1 silver is 10 copper. Okay, so it's to, to do with 20. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, it's if you're in your character sheet and you go to how much gold you have and you automatically subtract, does it not automatically upgrade your, like, say you did no. spend gold, you had change? It nope. doesn't change the copper? Nope. Oh, okay, cool. I haven't spent any money yet, so. Nope, you just need to change the values in there. Right. But it's all factors as of 10, and we, and we ignore Electrum as well, obviously, because why? No one uses it. Um, but I still like your tap system. Yeah, the money tapping, it yeah. It's yeah. good. I, I haven't used it yet, tap. but it's, it makes so much sense. I'm actually surprised more people don't use it. Yeah, I think it's because a lot of people just... Was that your thing? Yeah, like that's me. That's me, I came up with that. Yeah. Because I haven't told my other D&D groups. Uh, I probably won't. I highly expect credit for it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, um, I actually <laughs> won't just because it's a good thing, but it works in certain games. Whereas, yeah, like seeing like high magic games or where magic's commonplace, 100% works. Seeing places that are like low magic or just not magical at all, yeah, does not work at all. Um, it needs to have like a kind of almost unifying currency in a way. Um, yeah. See, I like it as a principle, um, mm -hmm. but I get what you mean about the magic worlds because a lot of the games I run. I'm not a heavy magic user. I just like, you know, fancy. Cool. But I'm sure we can chat about all this after the game. So, <laughs> what's everything else getting up to? Then? Is there anything else needing to be done before you all get on this wonderful ship, the Fandango? Are there any? Uh, lifeboats? Yeah. I'm... No. <laughs> I'm still trying to get me some potions. Yeah. So, go buy potions. I will so walk up to the alchemist daily. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Just like, you know, walk through and just like, hiya, I require some potions. And then the uh, kindly lady looks at you and she says, What are you after today then? Are we blowing something up today, Tink? <laughs> no, I know you well. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, "Nope, I have a very important task." Mm -hmm. Counselor herself, she has sent me and my. I was going to say crew. What would we be? Class? Crew's fine. Colleagues. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. Me and my co. Oh, yeah, me and my colleagues on it, on on a a. a <laughs> my D D party. <laughs> yeah, my D party <laughs> on an adventure. <laughs> We're being we're having to take a boat over to uh, Runstad. Mm -hmm. Over to Runstad for uh, information. Quite an important trip, if you know. She kind of her face darkens a little bit, and she's like, "It's a dangerous trip. I'm pleased that you'll be taking your talents away from my shop. No offense meant." <laughs> Don't worry, I fully plan on returning. And I hope by the goddess that you do, but <laughs> is it in relation to the, and she looks like up as if, you know, gesturing to the, the skyship and the, the storm. Big scary, the big scary octopus ship? Yes, indeed. So quite... And she kind of just nods, she goes, good, somebody should be doing mm -hmm. something about that, yes. Yep, well... They wouldn't let me use my cannons on it, so I gotta think of something else. But as we mentioned for foremostly, there is gonna be danger. Lots of danger. I don't like the idea of dying. Could I get potions? Yes, yes, yes. And then she kinda like stands up and puts her netting down and kinda walks over to like the kind of the shelf with all the glass bottles on it. She goes, and what is it you're after today? Just health potions, potions for healing. Stuff to keep my pep up, my pep in my step. She laughs because I don't think there's anything that could uh, dampen that. Uh, how many buying? <laughs> this is where things are gonna get interesting. Like, 
I would say three would be enough. Three sounds good. Do three have, worth. Do you have the money to buy three? I don't have the money to buy one. I've only got ten gold. So then you can't get any. So she's not going to give me even no. one? What were you hoping for? The fact that I'm going away on a dangerous mission that involves the big terrible thing in the sky that I could persuade her to give me one? It's probably unlikely, but I mean, you know, how's that going to go? Think. Everyone mm -hmm. in the city right now is up against danger. Mm -hmm. Yep. Especially we're up war against, We are up against the utmost of danger. So I was just doing the whole mentality of become British. British mentality. Everyone helps each other. So here's the thing, right? You want to try and use the fact that you're off the dangerous mission to justify why she should give you something for nothing. But or Yeah. Or like it what is that? Is that like eighty percent discount? Um but that's just there's no situation I feel Tink could manufacture because of the current state of everybody right now. Right. Because she's probably being paid a lot more by people that are sent off to go scout stuff out. Right? Mm. And obviously but supplies my... for making new potions are probably really tight. So yeah. Yeah, damn it. Because I was going to be like, well, you know, money's not going to be much use if, you know, octopus ship kills us all. So... Mm. Just how many is it you're having today then, Tink? You're like, can I get one? I'll make sure that you're contributed when we get back. No, no. Remember, we don't run a tab here, young Tink. It is um, money up front. 50 gold pieces, it would be. No. Per bottle. You're welcome to buy many. I don't have that kind of money. Perhaps your colleagues that wish you to live a long and happy life may contribute to your survival on this dangerous trip. But as for my survival in this dangerous city, she just kind of smiles. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, I got my Healy Slime. That'll have to do. Just hope I don't run out. Oh, well, back to the ship. And then I just, like, turn around and be like, Nyomp! Yeah. And the anything else you want to do in the city? No. Theo's just walking around the ship and familiarizing herself with it. She's not taking any of your stuff, no. All the stuff that she has is always carried on her anyway. I see. I'll probably be walking around asking Thea questions, making sure that everything that we need is on the ship. Sure. Like what? Like, basically just asking, Thea is the one with knowledge about the ship, I'm asking, go, oh, um, do we have enough ropes? Is the anchor ready? Is there... Uh, I'm ready! Are the sails working? Is there anything that needs to be checked? I think she was, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Not being very helpful here. Helpful? He just turns around and looks just straight at Lauda. Are you capable of running this ship yourself? Or would you like some help? Um, is is it just Lauda and who's who's still on the Adair is with you as well. As Adair with but he is well. AFK currently. Oh yes, of course. I think she would just turn around and say, "Check check the sails." Sure. I go and check the sails to the best of my ability. Sure. Thea giggles. Yep, so you walk up to where the sails are kept and Yep, you kinda stare at them for a bit. Yep. And then do you walk Is back to on a couple of ropes, see if anything happens, just see if they they're still taut or whatever they should be. Roll a D one hundred. 
Oh dear. No, it's fine. Just pull a bit of rope. It just pulls. That's about it. Okay. Yep. Nothing disastrous Ish. happens. <laughs> Shout to the uh, I think they're I think they're set. Pushes rope back where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is is the ship essentially just ready to sail or is it Yeah. Gonna take some time to just like, you know. That's like, what that's what the guys that were here for. that's what they were doing. They were making sure it was. Okay, ready that's to, fine to then. Cool cool. Mm -hmm. Is there a crow's nest? No. Darn it. It's not big enough for that. Oh, we we have a we have a little rat person though. Yeah, <laughs> He's not even there yet. <laughs> no. It has masts though for sails, yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, Cognac. Anything else you're buying in town, or do you head back to the warehouse? Ocean in front of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have anything else. I go back to the warehouse. Cool. You probably see everybody at the on on board a ship. Hit the docks as you're walking back to the warehouse. Yeah, I don't really have much stuff that I don't carry around as well. So it's mostly just picking up like your sort, like your mason shield yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I just grab it and head to the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the rules for weapons in the city are, or it's, let's clarify, used to be, uh, you can carry your stuff to leave the city from where you live, and vice versa, but you can't just wander around the city with weapons. That's somewhat more relaxed now, as you can probably guess. So, so we're under siege. Yeah, like, mm, yeah, it's a bit more relaxed. I was just wandering around with my staff in hand like a walking stick. Yeah, and nobody would part an elephant from his walking stick, so. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they're really mean. Yeah, like the other elephants. <laughs> <laughs> and if they did that, I'd draw my quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah. So we're heading off to sea. Uh, wait, Cognac, you brought fishing mm. supplies, yeah? Well, we've not got that yet. Cognac just went to the warehouse, so... Oh, I thought it was the ship you were saying. Nope. Sorry, my bad. At, at the warehouse, gets his stuff. Uh, Fleabite is the only person in the warehouse currently. Cognac. Probably watching, sleeping a wee bit. And poking with my foot. <laughs> if he's still sleeping. Yeah, oh that's you bring food, food. I offer him salt. <laughs> <laughs> I snort it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Make a con save. <laughs> Pardon? Make a con save, flea bite. Yeah, you probably like choke a tiny bit on it, yeah. Probably start over here. Yeah, yes. It's not like it's powder; it's rock salt in his nose. Mm -hmm. ah. That is the, le the least of the things stuck up there. Don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah. You've just I literally. It's making my eyes water. Well, we've just had we've just had a turtle give salt to a rat that snorted it, and it's now just coughing. Mm. I don't react. I presume I've seen a lot of this happen, and I know that he has the snorting powers of a Dyson. So whatever that is, yeah. <laughs> he sucks like one of the off. harbor people. <laughs> oh my god! Use, <laughs> use are the harbor people. Uh, I'm at the street walking harbor people. There, there's not even a street at the harbor, as we discussed. <laughs> Uh, don't harbor down. walk and harbor people. <laughs> anyway, anybody got any more business to do before everybody eventually gets themselves on board the ship, the Fandango? Nope. Cool. I just kind of head straight for the ship. So, it's evening, just to clarify, it? can the uh, manage the ship herself, or does it actually take two? I mean, we're going to find that out, aren't we? I mean, Thea would know, mm. wouldn't you? We're going to find that out. out. I mean, I'd rather not be out at sea before she goes, well, by the way, guys, Thea, <laughs> can you manage this ship by yourself, or do you need someone else with, you know, seaman skills? I did literally ask this a minute ago. Seafaring skills. Very, oh. 
And he did, yeah. So you're, he you're was AFK. Skills. Skills. Oh, yeah, he was. Um, Sorry. Sorry. And I think, like, I, 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 like the sort of repetitiveness of, like, you know, maybe a deer didn't, like, tear loud of just swamp Thea with questions. Um, I think Thea said, Everything's under control. Everything. Happy, so happy, happy! Her. And, like, runs up to the, to, like, kind of the back of the ship. <clears throat> I feel I should make a check. I don't yeah. know what check. Uh, bear with me. That'd be insight. Insight. Probably. Insight. Can I, can, I, can I make a wee insight check on our fellow comrade Theo? Can I help him with that? Year? Probably. Is that yeah. advantage? Thea, does you, are you currently wearing a mask or not? She's wearing her happy mask. Cool. Uh, it'd be a normal roll, then, with your help. Normal. Also not advantage, damn it. No, it would have been uh, a disadvantage no. if you didn't have the help. Do you have inspiration? Uh, I have a plus three. It doesn't, no, so the inspiration well, doesn't, so here's doesn't a good, here's a time to address mm -hmm. this. Advantage and disadvantage are conditions, they don't Mm -hmm. duplicate so you either have advantage or not you can't have several sources of it it's only okay. ever applied once as same as disadvantage which means if there's ever a source of both even if there's 19 things giving disadvantage and one thing giving advantage the role is still a normal role okay um, let's go so i'm gonna do a normal role um on insight yep insight, insight yep it's yeah. the one oh. cool yep See ya. Do you wanna let him know what his like fairly okay assumption of what you meant was? I think um, I think she knows roughly what she's doing, but there's like it's not like she's not an expert, you know, captain because she's never captained the ship before, you know. But she she knows enough. Do we of, know like, that you've never captained the ship? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, but like, can you can you run the ship? As in, you won't sink us. You can manage. The oh, this is meta questions though. So you need to ask her. Yeah, imagine that role playing in a role play game. <laughs> I don't like Hard. it. But yeah, let's Thanks save. More. I think we will fade out on this scene for you guys though, because I really want to get everybody on the goddamn ship. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Yeah, it's a cognac and flea bite. Are you moseying to the ship now, or are you staying I'm in the okay, warehouse forever? In that direction. Oh. There's free food. Whole six week journey food food on the boat boat, which is run run. Would you care to race race? Sure. Would you care to wager bet on race race? Okay. Um. A copper? Haha, <laughs> yes, shiny. yes, one copper, copper. Okay, after you. Yeah, I just absolutely bolt towards the, the ship. Yeah. I'm going to assume Cognac oh, doesn't run. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. He's so... got many of my coppers. Probably. Please, please my guest, there. <laughs> So pleased with himself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, do you want to give me a perception check, Felipe? <laughs> cool. Yeah, you don't know where you're going. You don't clock <laughs> the group. So, yeah. I I get nothing for um, city secrets. I mean, that got you back to the place quickly, right? But you don't know the name of the ship, right? Do I notice him running past? Because remember, Adair gave Alvin the, the letter as Alvin like, swiped it and ran off with the information. But um, I would at least be in the dock. But when I got it back, like I a... went straight to the dock. Yeah, never mind. Yep, and yeah, you said you were like trying to sleep during all that nonsense. So you don't know the name of the ship, and you don't see them, you just run off. But I'm in the dock, and I'm going to... So the warehouse ship. is at the docks, and the docks are big, and there are lots of ships. Okay, 
Yeah, that's what I... Also, a nine is a failure, just so you know. <laughs> so regardless of your arguments here, you didn't see them. <laughs> you're, you're, I noticed you're, you're, you're too caught up in the moment the fact that somebody's willing to wager you. I take note in the direction he went. Like, um, do the docks surround our house, or are the docks in one direction from our house? Um, I like to believe that user, if there was the harbour, you know, where all the ships go, and some form of a, a kind of sea wall out to them, so there's a slightly defensible way in and out. Um, there's then obviously the warehouse district attached to that, and you just live in that. Okay. So and for the sake of Thea, it lives in, like yours are at the edge of the water, for that like to like away to the left yeah. or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Would I have seen him running past the ship? Completely no idea where he's going. No, because at the moment you're currently accosting Thea with a dare, but can you <laughs> actually okay. sail this? I am. Um... But yeah, Cognite, you could probably see Fleabag just run off, possibly down the wrong pier. Yeah, I'll just yeah, take I thought I was going to end up in the wrong gone, ship there. <laughs> obviously, he could keep running. Yep, um, where does Cognac go? He just takes a quick look around the warehouse to make sure he's not missed anything, and then he just leaves. Locks everything up if he's got keys to do that. I mean, I feel like there is probably like somewhere everybody stores a key, right? Because that yeah. feels like a better thing than everybody forgetting. Or being robbed and can't get back into their house when they come back, right? Yeah. So I would say we all have keys. I think that would make sense. Well, I lock everything up anyway. Yeah. And I just slowly walk in the direction of the docks with all my salt and <laughs> fishing gear and salt. Yeah. Your five sets of fishing <laughs> rods and your your bucket of salt. Yeah, that's fine. I um. Hold on. Uh... I'm assuming by this point Alvin's come back and he's got all of his stuff and is on the boat as well now. Can I well, attach my shield, which everyone will event which probably will recognise to the end of a fishing rod and just walk around with it like in the air. So it's very obvious and just start walking around the talks. No. <laughs> the fishing rod would probably break. Sign of the future. Mm -hmm. Well then, I'll just walk. Yep. So, flea bite. You get to the end of a pier very quickly, and you don't recognize any of the people there. Can I just jump on the boat? Any boat? Well, which yeah, whichever one I've like come closest to. Yeah, like you can I just look. Everybody's at like so the, when you get to the pier, there are people standing talking to each other at the piers, obviously as if they're down the ramp from their boats. So you'd be running past those people to get to the boats. Does that make I, sense? I, like so they'd be down the ramp. Yeah, whichever one that I'm at is the one that I need to be on. Sure. Yeah, I guess like do you run. Up there, and probably some random people shout, "Hey, you can't go! You can't just run up there!" And probably chase you. Okay. Yes, yes, I have with um, with city elf. <coughs> no city elf on my ship, son. And then you start chasing you around the boat. <coughs> Cognac, as you're walking up to the actual boat you need to be on, you can see on the wrong pier. Fleabite, being chased around. In the distance, the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> <laughs> Am I close to this? No, you're on the right pier. <laughs> ah. Um, can I quickly sort of, well, what, at a moderate, brisk pace, um, head to the right boat, dump my stuff, jump into the water, and head to the wrong pier. Cool, what's your swim speed? Um, I don't know. That means zero. So, should I give me an athletics check? Sorry. As long as I can't drown. I mean, I. Where's that rope? 
So <laughs> that's in that one. we have this scene where guys, <laughs> as you are discussing how competent <laughs> Sia is, uh, um, working a boat of this size, <laughs> Cognac walks up, dumps his stuff, and just walks off the edge of the boat and splashes <laughs> and just goes straight down. <laughs> You you know, know, I, think... I believe he has confidence in us. <laughs> <laughs> and I liked him too. Can I just like, look over the edge and say, can he breathe down there? You see constant bubbles. Can he swim? See, I want to know if um, Alvin has told us about his... Or I actually don't know where Alvin about... is because Scott hasn't even replied to me yet. Well, um, I was waiting on you asking me. I did, and you oh. didn't reply. I said, what are you up to? Sorry, I must have not heard. Sorry, there's just been a lot of talking going on. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll just leave the shop and go to the boat. Cool. Um, so you're on the boat with to... all your stuff, basically? Because you probably get there, yeah, like, as yeah, Cognac just be, walks off I'd the be, edge. I'd <laughs> be on the boat. I'd kind of... Uh, I'd be a... a, a like underneath the deck, kind of like setting up a hammock and stuff for me and making sure all my tools are in the right place and everything like that. Just a nice space for me to work in. There's not really space for you to work on this boat, buddy. It's literally got enough room to like cram a bunch of people of your um, stature. So, in... I mean like, you know, being not, mm -hmm. not like, I'm going to set up a massive workshop. Just like kind of, hmm, I can examine things. I mean, you can pop up your hammock. It's a schooner, dude. Yeah. It's... it's literally very, Look very up... tight quarters. Uh, yeah. But so, I'm yeah. a tiny little like two dwarf. decks. It's... Yeah. Nah. But like, you, yeah. Might just have to... you might just have to work on the top deck, unfortunately. All right. Okay, cool. Yeah. But either way, right, go down, set up a hammock. Dump your stuff. Just... Yep. Yeah, dump my stuff. Kind of just sit and chill up the top and just kind of be like setting up like the front of the mm -hmm. boat just being like, Adventure. Splash. Mm. As Cognac <laughs> goes in the water. So, um, Cognac. Um, you know, in the first Pirates of the Caribbean, when they're walking mm -hmm. along at the bottom, mm -hmm. can I just do that? Yep. Do the <laughs> but then. Do you have anything in hand? To get back out, you need to, like, swim. And it's not went well for you so far. <laughs> I can't drown, can try. I? <laughs> Fails. I have an hour. <laughs> yeah, so you you slowly walk from the bottom of that pier to the bottom of the pier where you know Flea Bite's being chased by some kind of sailor. And you're going to try and swim up. Just give me an athletics check. We'll see how well it goes. <laughs> oh, God. To be sure, he wasn't raised by his people, right? So... Takes a bit Yay! of practice. Yeah, so you can swim up and try and climb out of the pier with that. <laughs> so everybody kind of gets startled a bit that we're talking away while they're laughing at this guy chasing around flea bite um, on the like ship. Jump up the um, like the rigging, try and climb up the. Yeah, you can get up there. Yeah, and the guy's like got like uh like a random like pull arm thing from the the ship as he's trying to like poke at you with it. I am. Um, as you've climbed up like the, the rigging and uh, some of the people laughing at the bottom of the pier uh, just get startled by this turtle heaving itself out of the water. <laughs> Meh! Lizard thing! The, the man thing tries stab stab! Why he on our boat boat? You see Flea Bite at the top of the rigging. These guys aren't hostile to us. They're just... Well, the guy wants the rat problem. off the boat. Like, yeah, yeah. They just think they're a big problem. They're not trying to. So, can I just walk up to the band with a puller, grab it, <laughs> and chuck it in the water, and then yell at Flea Bite? So, like, you're on the wrong boat! It's on the other side! Flea Bite, from up there, you can actually see people you recognize on a much smaller ship. <laughs> boat boat! <laughs> that is boat boat! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I believe I won the race, Flea Bite. I reached boat boat first. 
you reached the wrong boat. Okay. And just toss a copper. That's how Fleabite oh, remembers it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Sorry, I think okay. Cognac and Fleabite eventually just head round Fleabite now with his new shiny copper piece. Um, Make sure it's the shiniest copper I have. Yeah, I mean they're all pretty washed now, so mm. yeah. So are we now all at the ship? They're all on the ship, somehow, miraculously. Yes. Yes. Oh, um, finally! What? what time of day is it by the time we all actually meet up? It's something like, that uh, Lauda asked in, earlier. Is it? Oh, sorry, I missed that. It's okay, it was never answered. So, it's because so much was happening, and also it wasn't really that important. So, it's, I mean, it's the daytime is closing, Tide and is the night time dude. is happening. I mean, not really on this planet with two suns. So, <gasps> yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Don't worry, sorry, I told you, I've covered myself for all of these random questions. <laughs> so, yeah. So it, how does the tide work on a twin sun thing? Doesn't just you just sail. It's miraculous so that there's way. There's no. Oh. Yep. And do you know why? Because I'm not going to sit and explain how the tide works in a fantasy world with two suns. Because I don't know the answer to yeah. that. Yeah. No, I get that. And yeah. I like your answer. Thank because you. I was trying to think out the mathematics there, and I'm like, nope. The trick is to not Vito. do that. This is how a lot yeah. of new GMs get stuck in horrible holes that they don't want to be in. Anyway. Oh, no, my biggest problem is always distance. <laughs> uh, remember, there was like, what, how many moons here? Um, actually, you'd think that, but in this fantasy game, Fleabite, it's purely the suns that affect the tides. Is there a moon? I feel like I answered this before and I don't remember. I think so you don't said want... no. I don't want to contradict yeah, I what I said previously. So, In which case, the suns would have the most effect, because the moon wouldn't... It's okay, I, 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 cover, I covered that already. But, yeah. Literally anything yeah. I say is fact, so... Yeah. Yeah. Two suns, but I don't remember anything about the moon. Yeah, I don't remember either, because I think I remember talking I about the 50 minutes before. I think I remember you saying no. All of this is irrelevant. Regardless. Yes. yes. So, I think, the tide um, once... is ready. Once and, uh, is gonna uh, captain us. Yes, once once yeah. everyone's on the ship, Thea's gonna start just shouting orders at people. I, I, Thea, you knew all this already. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> did she though? <laughs> of course she did. She's mm, hundred damage later. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I didn't even say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so. Theo, are you going to take the ship out now, or are you just going to spend the night in it to get a feel yeah, for we're it? Yeah, we're going. <laughs> we're going. We're on the ship. We're on water. We're in the sea. We're going. I like the idea that like you've not even like said this. It's like we're ready. It's just like last feet are on the boat, and you're just like set sail. That's it. I'm like shouting she made like the to... obvious. Art. She left the council's office. She went for it. <laughs> she she's ready. Yeah. She, Do she's we even done. make it out the harbor? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about to find yes. out. Do you want me to roll my water vehicle's proficiency? <laughs> no. How are you operating this vehicle? Are you shouting orders to people? Is that what you're doing? Oh, I, I, I am. So this. I'm shouting at like Loud and Cognac going, um, Loud and Cognac on main sheets. I just look and say, Who has what? What? vehicle? Can I just ask who has vehicle proficiency? Like, he's, she's I have water. He literally already say. said that as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're has... subconsciously hearing everybody's statements and then just asking the <laughs> questions. <laughs> it's such a weird delay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, in the scene we're in, Slow. how is Thea addressing Cognac and Lyoda? And you said on main sheets, and then somebody uh -huh. was about to reply. What? Yeah, same. What? And she points at the two big ropes that operate the sails. You want, How do you want them? Release. I want you to roll your water vehicles with disadvantage uh, using charisma. Okay. Uh, you should just query it. Yeah, it does. Uh, charisma. By, oh, wait, hold on. At disadvantage. God damn it. <laughs> oh, 
with charisma. But oof. There oh, we go. Nobody, nobody else saw It's that. okay. I can see it. That's good. I've, I was going to say, I've not. Yeah. It's cause I got 19 and a 22. GM. Yeah. So, That's sick. 19. Yeah. Oh, did you roll for GM only? Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I thought roll 20 had frozen. Nope. I'll send it over. I don't see anything on roll 20. No, yeah. That's because I accidentally set it to ah. GM. Ah. It's all right, though. Apparently. Nice. <laughs> so, even though Thea is working with people who have no idea how to operate boats, somehow her commanding presence is able to get every day. Well, after a year, we trust her. Does yeah. she have a commanding mask? <laughs> um, it's like a painted on captain hat. Mask on. Something femdom related. <laughs> um, she's, st she's still currently wearing her happy, happy mask. But you have a hat, a captain's hat. Sure. It's actually just another mask. With a, a captain's <laughs> hat painted on it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um No, generally as she said earlier, like she doesn't normally wear masks when she's at sea. Um yeah. or when calm with the sea. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so you just get the ship ready in surprising efficiency. Uh, and you just begin sailing. And off you go. We... And as Once as the, as moving. like yeah. we we get I I think like um, that's when Theo would take off her mask, yeah, and just kind of like look out, and she's got like a very, like, placid. We see your new face. Do do we see your real face right now? Yes. Nice. It's not like we haven't seen it before. Mm. Yeah, but just it's rarely see it with smile yeah. on its face. Well, it's not as well, it's placid as you said. Hmm. Oh, damn. As we start moving and like there's less need for us to pull ropes and stuff, I'm gonna wild shape into a monkey and climb up the sail <laughs> and just look at the sunset if it's happening. I mean, probably one of them can happen, right? Yeah. Sure. Why not? It's the first sunset. There you go. That's what yeah. time it is. <laughs> Don't ask me when second sunset is. It's just after first sunset. <laughs> but yeah, so you sail off into the open sunset. ocean. Hopefully not into the sunset. Compass? <laughs> nope. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> I do have navigator tools, but Thea's not using them. And, uh, <laughs> Thea just knows the way, you know? Cool, yeah. Do you yeah. know the way? We're off into the sunset. Guys, just, we're ready to go and sail. It's, it's when you get five weeks into the trip and you're still at sea and you're like, why can't we still oh. see little Bellinor? <laughs> Wait, did anyone bring a compass? No, we forgot to take off anchor. Yeah. How are we sailing a boat in reverse? So, we... No, we're still at dock, we never guys, raised the anchor. I love that. So guys, okay. the camera pulls away from the, the little schooner ship, the little the Fandango. And zooms all the way back into the city. Goes all Fandabby, the way. Fandango. Goes all the way back up the streets. Pulls all the way back into the city council chambers. And then the camera focuses on our wonderful NPC that we all know and love. Counselor. Vistel Hamilton. Yeah, and she's standing there. And a bunch of other councillors are there as well. And they're all kind of like murmuring and chatting away. And they're like, are they, are they late? Like, what? I, I mean, what do, what do we expect? And she just kind of like does that thing where she's trying to dismiss him as well. And she's like, don't worry about it. We have we don't really know what to expect. You know, we've tried communications for a week with no response. This is monumentous. And then the guy obviously looks pretty nervous. And uh, possibly some older stuffier human counsellor man that I now have to make a name up for at some point in the future. But um well, Boris. They say uh, again, out of the game, keep all the politics out of the game, please. And uh <laughs> he uh Stuffy is pompous. Yeah. <laughs> Stefurious <laughs> Bomberton. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Stefurious. <laughs> You're looking very agitated. Today. Yes. <laughs> and um yeah, so they all kind of like shuffle a bit, and then there's some strange, like, purple lighting magical effects from the middle, and everybody shuffles and startles, and the guards, like, pull weapons, and in the centre of it all, this creature 
appears kind of very um kind of tightly bound in a kind of black outfit and purplish skin and a face somewhat somewhat full of tentacles um and let me see if i can just get you some art for this dum 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 and there we go. This thing appears in the council chambers. In the center. Between the two chats, that's very distracting. Nope. Then maybe we should not have the other chat if that's the case. I mean, I like the taco guy. That is some badass art. So. Yeah. Do we have a name for And that's where the session ends. Oh Imagine that. Wow. Okay, cool. Sexy. So what are we naming the session? I, s- I, that I still like the one that I put up. Um, I bought a boat. Nope. <laughs> ten nope. ten hundred damage. <laughs> Damn it! Prepare for the sea. Give yeah. me a wee second. This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. So, suggestions, type them into TI chat for the yeah. titles. We'll vote on them. We'll see what comes Typing up. Type in a nine and a... Ah, crap. Uh-oh. I'm just going to put in a random station of Voyage because it's the most straightforward one possible. I mean, I kind of like that just because it is the most obvious. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm gonna ping from my own one because I really like that. Oh, Nightwish song over the wish, uh, over the season far away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lost at sea. <laughs> 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 um, uh, it's difficult to splashing out, choose. right? If only you had spent more money. Wow, you could not have made this sound any more like a Disney film. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go to that music earlier. Fuck's sake, man. So, what else we got, guys? Any other suggestions? Thinking. So, to summarize, he's had that year thing happen. Then he's had... I mean, one year later is also a valid one, right? I guess. I guess. Um, Then he's got... Meeting with the council. Assigned the job. Eventually got everything ready for the boat. Left fairly successful on a boat. So, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I'm trying to use a one of these pen sticky thingy, my bobbers. Sure. I, I'm using the tablet, but instead uh, of my fingertip, I'm using one of these pencil things a that's meant to do the same job. Um, sure, but it's not. Uh, to be honest, it's a multi-tool. It's also a uh, spirit level uh, screwdriver. Oh, wow. It's a long title work out. <laughs> it's awesome. I love these wee things, but um, I'm trying to use it to type on the... Oh, fuck it. I'm going to hit return or message there. To the sea. To the sea. Yeah. So, that. Cool. I did a stylus thing. Everyone's real tapey taping the poppers. Alright, well, nothing's That's winning fun. so far. So, yeah. Any other suggestions? Um, thinking. Let's go fishing! <laughs> Cockneck, you've got all the fishing gear. Let's oh, go fishing! Wait. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat. It's a long ass title, that's what that is. Mm. But anyone who has ever seen Jaws would love it. Mm. But then people that listen to the episode without the shark, they're gonna get pissed off with it. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Ryan, make there be a shark encounter next right time and then we can just do that. Sure. Um everybody's a shark. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Take nine damage. Mm. How many um, animals did we have this episode? <laughs> that's something feeling. There we go. I quite like that one as well. 
I have cast one. Five. Yep, it's the yeah, first one to get to two. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> there's four. There Perfect. we go. Right, there we go. We got a session title. There you go. Perfect. That's sinking good, good. feeling. Uh, right. So goals. And do you think one of them got completed? No. 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 Mm, yep. Yeah. Cool. Nope. Easy. And do you get any goals in mind for slotting in for next time? Yeah. Um, um. Arrive at a. I was going to say rock steady. Um, Rinstad safely. Sure. I mean, that's kind of a given for everyone, isn't it? Not really. He no. might die before he's getting no. there. It is in the mountains. You just need to, like, crash your boat into the size of the island and then yeah. go on a journey. Make... Oh, or yeah. side quests might take you elsewhere. Okay, or, should be you know, fish. Or literally one of you might die. So like, what are you going to do? Like right, so here's the better thing of arrive at Rinsad safely, because that isn't something that is a goal, Alvin. It needs to be what are you doing to ensure that. Oh, there you go. Got oh. rid of it. It's one, it's one easier. Ah, right, okay, so it's so specific. Right, okay, so this is me specific, right. Yeah. Okay, and else um, get any other goals to want to add in? Hello. Sorry, um, my Discord caught me off again. Doesn't matter. Right we, at the moment. we got that. We assumed. Don't worry. Um, what's everybody else thinking goal-wise? Does anybody else have any other goals? Um, for example, Adair, do you want to switch yours out maybe for now? Maybe keep a hold of that one for later? Uh, my current goal is... Sorry, about the, it's about the rock monster. Oh, um, well, after I meant to actually bring this up. Uh, it's been a year. I've been in the university. Have, I mean, have nope. I read anything about? I feel like no. it never came up, so really? it's still a something... I mean, you didn't do anything though in this session. I know because we focus on the session. At which but point even, you could have said even, there was even many times you could have said. Even in the... sorry, Ryan. It's okay. I'm gonna keep going. Yep. At any point during the session, whenever they had free role play time to do whatever you wanted to do, you could have brought it up though. Um, again, it's not to say you can't go and resolve that later after this mission, or somehow discover the answer to it during the mission, if you can work out a way to do that, but this is the chance to say, do you have a better goal in mind for now? Um, actually, my main goal just now is getting the group to work together. It's got, Good luck. <laughs> That's my goal too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, it's a personal goal of just make sure we are all on the same so, level. So, phrase ish. that, right? Phrase that as something you can actually do. So, Okay, like like month. how Alvin's was arrive at Runestad safely is a terrible goal, but what he does mm. to ensure people arrive at Runestad safely yes. is a goal. So what do you do to ensure the group work together as a team? That's what I need. So what would Adair's plan to ensure that they work together as a team be? What's your method you're going to employ? Because then I can see if you did that, and if you did it, you get the goal. And um, while you're thinking about that, MD else, get anything they want to adjust? Ognak would like to catch a barrel load of fish. Yeah, sure. You want to catch a barrel load of fish. 100% add it in as a goal. Is that to replace prove the team? Prove no, the team your goal. secondary goal. Are you going to attempt to do the, the other one? Because I feel like having multiple goals is too much for you guys right now, quite frankly. Yeah. These are doing uh, like very badly on goals currently, which is fine because it's the start of a game. But. I'd rather use focused on one at a time. Ryan, how do you think that one would do? The tank one requires combat to happen. Correct. And that's not always going to happen. Correct. Okay, I will replace it for now then. Cool. Sure, sure. That does make sense. I think Laida would like to improve the relationship with the air because I think it's been a bit touchy recently. Sure. We've been a bit at each other's throats. Okay. What? The team? or No, no me Thea. and Thea. Lyoda ah. and Thea. Because of their bond about him telling her off. Because of yeah. that whole bone <laughs> yeah. student counsellor thing. Yeah, like, I'll fucking bitch slap you two. But never mind. If you're willing to work together... You're welcome fine. to try. <laughs> it's a great way to get people to work together. <laughs> bitch slaps work amazingly. Especially if you use a hammer. I use it for real. 
Uh, Ryan, is that um, okay to change it from fight to contest? Win an unfair contest. Unfair. For some. In my advantage. What does unfair in my advantage mean besides nothing? <laughs> well, like um, my race, like I knew that I could run at double speed in the city. But I didn't let him know that until well after. Um, there was a chance for it to happen. Stuff like that, where I know I have an ace in the hole, and they don't. I try to you know, win like that. Oh, then it wouldn't be unfair, right? <laughs> so, so it doesn't work. It would need to be win an unfair contest, and the contest would need to be unfair, and then you somehow win it. It can't be have an advantage in something I'm really good at but people think I'm bad at because that's not an unfair contest that's just you tricking people does that make sense? because you're not trying to trick me with a goal no but if it is a an NPC cool but what you mean is convince an NPC they have the advantage over me is what you mean. Right? Because you want to trick an NPC or somebody into believing they can win when you know you can. Whereas win an unfair contest, the way you've described that makes me think Fleabag's never going to get into an unfair contest. Which is why it would be a bad goal. Does that make sense? Um... Yes, no, maybe, I can, uh, actually I don't know if I can explain it a different way, but like you can't have an advantage in an unfair situation because then it's not an unfair situation, is literally the bottom line of that. Okay, I feel like when we're having a linguistical debate, what would you rather I put instead of unfair? I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to... Win. Rig a contest what? in my advantage, hmm? so I win. I think that's what Before you're it was to. fight, were you okay with that? Well, no, because now I've understood that you want to be at an advantage in the situation, even though you want to win an unfair contest. So, is your plan to? Oh, yep. Go resolve Sorry, that if you can. That's fine. Go resolve that if you have to. No, no, just drop the phone. It's okay. It's a work phone, and we're in lockdown. It doesn't matter. So. I'll I'll try and figure it out for next time. Sure. Oh, so we I've can talk about it after the game if need be as well. Exactly. Anybody else? Yeah. Got any goals that need to be discussed now? I put some in, but I've worded it not very well, so I'll try and work on that. Make sure the ship reaches land in one piece. Ensure it stays mm. sailable. I mean, that's Thea, but okay. I was going to say, yeah, I'm looking at Thea's. For, yeah, for Thea, you could just make that be, make sure a... The ship reaches land in a usable condition. Uh, it's the brackets that don't work because ensure yeah. it stays saleable isn't completable. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yep. All right, later, you were saying, sorry? So I've got this repair relationship with Thea, and I guess the end goal of that is to do something together that requires us working together, you know, without butting heads and getting angry at each other or something. Yeah, so, so really re repair a relationship with Thea would just be after a session when we're reviewing stuff like the goals, you can say to Thea, Callum, you know, you can say, do you think the relationship is repaired yet or is there still more that would need done? And then that's a yes okay. or no answer at that point, right? Let's take out the brackets. Okay. Um, like the brackets are still kind of applicable, right? It doesn't really, it's not that specific that way. They're still, that still works. But the way to complete that is like Thea agreeing. Out okay, with yeah. the game, if that makes sense. Just if you're happy with that, cool. Yeah. Um, so, do you wanna like move the other goal away then? If we're only doing one goal each for the time being, because uh, I think that is a uh, for the best. Sure. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, any other changes we're looking to make for now? Because we'll go over goals at the start of next session as well. No, so, I'm good. 
Ryan, um, after yeah. a year in the city, I've not discovered why this monster attacked. I think this is a, you know, after everything that's happening, it doesn't mean much anything. So I'm going to delete my goal. Sure. Mm. I was just going to say, um, oh, I oh. don't think I'm getting an answer to it. Sure. If you feel that way, yeah, get rid of it, and we'll put something else in. I might not have anything else right now, but... No, that's fine. You've got a week, well, right? You've got a week to think about it. Go. And again... Uh, do you want to copy and paste it into somewhere, or just delete? That's on just you guys to track all that stuff. You can track all that yeah, yourselves. I don't care. Like, that's on you. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to delete it. Greg, it's fine. just put it in the non, no longer relevant ones. I mean, is it worthy of being there? When it's... That's how... Only you can answer that's, that. That's up to you. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's about you pursuing it, not me. Mm-hmm. Like abandoned. I mean, again, lie. at some point, you are likely to come back to Little Bellinor, right? I mean, spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> <laughs> Turns That's out right. we have some stuff there. Yeah. Also, uh, you can always go back to those ruins, right? You just know where they are. I want to go back. My guy doesn't care enough. <laughs> He's, he then really what? Yeah. Enough then about it's, himself. Then so, it, there you go. You've yeah. answered it. It's not a goal. Get it rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Cool. It's done. It's gone. Uh, and But I will come up with goal ideas for next round. No worries. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, as I said, we might get to the point where I'm happy to move up to like more than one goal per person or just have a list of team goals that are available. I'm mm -hmm. open to taking ideas in that regard, but for the moment I think just one per person's manageable. Yeah. Um, the bonds work out the goals, I feel. Yeah, Not well, really. uh, we'll see yeah. how that goes regardless. You know I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. Meanwhile, given that there are no more goals to talk about, Let's have a look at bonds, shall we? Right, yeah, Adair, really how do you feel your bonds went? Uh, one amount. I'm just went on the ill internet. -y. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, so I have always happy to help with ideas, but uh, Tink went and ran away. Um, we didn't get a wee comfortable session where we could work out together with cognac. Uh, co Cognac. I'm cognac, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's everything cognac. said at this session, don't worry. Mm. Uh, he's like a fine brandy, but uh, <laughs> yeah. We didn't get to train together. I love to train with brandy. but um, Only yeah, in that certain uh, region of France, yeah. <laughs> Brandywine Birch. He's uh, actually Brandy's monster. Yeah, oh god. They were all the monster, no. I'll have you know. Um, <laughs> I despise that brand, so veto. Uh, um, so, what about flea bite and Thea? Do you have anything that you feel came up with flea bite and Thea as a bond? Unfortunately, not flea bite. I still represent as the one who hides behind. I mean, don't be wrong. I've gotten closer to Konya. I keep saying Konya. Don't worry about sorry. it. Well, do you think, uh, um, like, is your we train together thing worth changing out to a different variation of the relationship, or are you happy as is? Oh, happy as is because. It, means me and him work together well yeah, that's um, fine if, um, if Fleabite is going to be part of Cognac Shadow then yeah we need to work on that from now on. Now keep in mind this is all from Adair's point of view so it's all how Adair yes. feels about these people yeah um, Yeah. but no it's, it, and, it could definitely develop because Fleabite probably is going to hang around Cognac a lot and so. I would like to get to know Fleabite it's just he challenges me to random races where I'm like yeah, oh. I don't really feel like running today, buddy. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, I kind of like, okay, I, I love your enthusiasm, but I could take a taxi. <laughs> and that's kind of how secret. I feel. Hmm? Give him a copper. <laughs> no, then, <laughs> then he wins. So, I, mean, I don't want him to just win for nothing. Moving I, on I want, with Bonds. I want Alvin. him to be fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't really think my bonds have changed much. Uh, didn't really. The only person I really kind of spent any time with was Thea, um, and we didn't really talk about chaos because she decided to boost the way she had other things in mind. Mm -hmm. That's fine. She was in bolt mode. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Cognac. Anything come up for you? Uh, I think I like the interaction with Fleabite, and. I think it, it's probably changed more to like Cognac sort of views Fleabite as a younger brother, something like that. 
you can change it out for that, yeah? Yeah. Because I feel like technically yours did resolve, right? You've got, I feel Fleabite can't protect himself as he was halfway up a ship mast being poked <laughs> yeah. at with a sailor with a pole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the idea that maybe you've got a bit more of a older brother vibe towards him. Yeah. Although, what, he just flea bite? Like... <laughs> he just just a number. Yeah, but his... We, we age quite quickly. So I'm only like six, but... Um, I don't think anything else came up. Cool. Uh, flea bite. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I nearly fell off my chair several times this session, but luckily... <laughs> <laughs> Why is your um, chair so dangerous? Because it's a like swivel you're... chair and I like to swing on my chairs. I see. I feel like your, your whole setup would like feature on gaming setups with a threatening arm. <laughs> um, I would just say for my um, bonds to add Well, the way to think about bonds would be, do you think the ones you've got are still in play? If so, that's fine. That's the state of play. Do you think a new interaction between people have come up? Or do we think things are no longer relevant, but they don't necessarily have a, they've not got something bond-worthy? Such as, if we take Cognac as an, an example, do you still feel Cognac is a safe place? Uh, nope, no. only got a bit of you. Is he right? Um, push talk is dangerous with um, <laughs> all these text boxes. Um, so yeah, I was just adding with Adair um, that um, you know a little bit of interaction, just like mm, weird blue thing is probably an elf trying to trick me. Yeah, so blue thing probably an elf. That's it. Could be your bond with Adair. Perfect. I like it. No good. Okay. Lauda. Fleabite, If I could see you, I'd hug you. <laughs> I don't think anything's really happened with Adair and Alvin yet. Um, although I can see some things coming. Um, it's such a concerning uh, statement, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. was. <laughs> this week, um, I don't know. There's a lot of potential with some of my bonds, I think. Okay, yeah. That's not this change yet, though, no? Um, no. I mean,. Your relationship with the Cognac is kind of interesting when you're several days at sea with no booze. Yeah. Oh, mm. good lord. <coughs> Wait, what? Yeah. No. I mean, I'm yeah. prepping for this cruise. Um... Hey, you're already on the cruise, buddy. You've already sealed away. Oh, I was off fucking line for two minutes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You guys didn't prep booze? Of course nobody prepped booze. I'm not I would prep booze. I have some uh, salt you can snort. <laughs> <laughs> Believe I, I have the salt. Highly recommended by Fleabite. <laughs> but I think I was that with them. from the keyboard for like two minutes, guys. Come on. I thought you said you had everything online for the ship for a month. Hmm. Uh, I like the idea that um, me and Fleabite used to sort of keep ourselves entertained whilst on these scouting missions by having races with me and my wild form as a fox and him just running and that sort of stuff yes. and that we might continue that whilst running around the boat and up the masts oh, and all sorts definitely. yeah actually can you turn into birds so, so no i can't have a flying speed oh, damn it. i need to be like level eight or something for that yep. uh i also kind of have a mission that i want to turn into as many animals until i find one that thea likes why thea because she's grumpy at me, and I want to cheer her up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pose as a excuse. new animal every day. I'm just going to be like, do you like this one? How about this one? How about now? How about now? I see yeah. ya. Uh, I just popped one in there for a deer. Um, I don't believe a deer. I, I know, I do believe, oh dear. <laughs> the second problem is wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Warring. I doesn't... Boring. What did we do? I don't pro yes, I will prove a boring. Uh, I believe a deer lacks faith in her methods, in my methods. 
My just, tens is it's, here. It's still wrong. But leave war warring is being left. <laughs> <laughs> I'll warn you then. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. I a deer lacks faith in my methods and I will prove him wrong, but she will prove him wrong. Right, regardless of After what a year I using. trust you. I do trust you. It's just alcohol, motherfuckers. Also though, keep in mind that there, even if you do have trust in Thea, it means Thea doesn't think you do at this point, right? Even if you've said, oh, I completely trust you, don't worry, you know? I mean, it just means that Thea doesn't. Hey, I mean, this is just a belief Thea has, so doesn't need to be true, remember? <gasps> like, do we really expect no, the I elephant don't. to Wait, get me. Cognac over his alcoholism? I don't know. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, and, and Cal Callum, Callum does believe a, a deer, you know, has has, you know, trust trusts in the team. But uh, you and doesn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, <laughs> well. see your see your faces, Thea. Um, keep an eye on them because uh, some of them might go missing. Oh no, they won't. Oh. Uh, I mean, you say that. I mean, let's if they it. do, th there will be there will be. Severe You're not gonna <laughs> find them on me. You're not gonna. Why am um, like look if they go missing? Painted my windows. Complete. <laughs> cut and paste. That's all I'm seeing here, Callum. <laughs> Painted windows. Um, yep. Um. Anyway, for your bonus, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess why it is continuing to unravel everything that Thea does. Like the sales, uh, like sales, um, and uh, like in the, in the in the council chambers where yeah. he stood up, and he <laughs> went, "Oh God, here we go." And in my head, that was in character. I don't know if that was, but um, no, that was. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So we got some goals in place as well, and some bonds. Good. So everything kind of, as I said, these can be adjusted. Keep in mind, bonds might get phased out as time goes on, because then you'll kind of know enough about each other, right, to not really need mm -hmm. this stuff. I, um, mm. I don't mind keeping it though if it does help if people like it I'll keep a hold of I it I like it I but, like it but um, I find it's really good for new groups for this exact reason you get to have understood rules about each other well uh -huh. can I now say Ryan now that your internet is sorted mm -hmm. and we're on the third That's session it. of this mm -hmm. next time before we do you know your recording stuff let's get to facetime each other and get to know each other because i know not much about you guys but character wise i love you guys thank you for that oh see yeah. now i'm scared you'll just be disappointed with my actual person <laughs> <Well, laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. like off camera yeah i was gonna say that can all be discussed off camera and off recording yes yeah. apologies um, but regardless of that let's do our review then of our wonderful that sinking feeling. Let's start with the deer. I believe that counselor wants my bobby. <laughs> I see. I see. I, that's what I, she gave me a ship. You know, she she wants me. We've for the past year been discussing a lot, and yeah, that's my take on that. I mean, the guys were good. We've been blended for a year, and yeah, she wants me. Okay. And I want to... Do you want to have, like, a completely oh. pointless goal that is just, you know, like, win the heart or, you know... Oh, yeah, no, it's completely <laughs> pointless. I, in reality, I don't so think well what was going to happen. So, keep in mind, you're a rare commodity in the world, right? You know, not a lot yeah, of Genasi I mean, kicking I'm about. Trying to, I'm, I'm trying to use the Genasi aspect to, I mean... That's yeah, America's Genasi, she, she, yeah. She, <laughs> she might be old enough to remember my race, so she's good informant. Um, but yeah, I basically see her as um, a wee bit on the side because uh, she likes me and I like her. Yeah, I mean, the thing is though, she doesn't dislike you, right? So there, yeah, I could. Yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm in with the in, so she doesn't dislike me and Win, I don't right. annoy her, and I, I'm doing what I can to help her country. And yeah, yeah. That'll be an interesting oh, arc to explore. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. We're going off for a month and a bit. You know, she's going to miss me. 
as soon as you month there, month back. I was gonna say, yeah, like hmm. it'll be fine. If um, we make it back. Anything else you want to add to the wrap up chat? Um no, um, I'm loving the group dynamics. Uh, we're getting into character properly. Um, mm-hmm. I'm probably saying this at the wrong time, sorry. No, that's okay. It, it does work, yeah. Oh, no. um, this is the time where you no, get to have I... thoughts about the game. This is your time. Cool. Um, no, I'm loving the group dynamic. Uh, we are working well together. We're learning to get on with each other in our special ways. Uh, I'm beginning to love Fleabite. I'm like, I always kind of knew yes. Fleabite. It's like, yes! <laughs> Fleabite is the loyal doggy that, you know, give him a wee treat and his little leg twitches and I love that shit. That, so that Fleabite, I mean, I will die for Fleabite. I'm happy to say that. Now. And you might have to if Fleabite needs to live. So <laughs> Yeah, and no, I'm, I mean, I'm a front hitter, so I'll gladly jump in front of those douchebags to mm-hmm. protect Fleabite. Whoever they may be, uh, shakes fist at the sky. <laughs> uh, tentacles from the sky, it's cool, um, you know. Yeah, I mean, that couldn't possibly go wrong. Yeah. What's going to go wrong with that? Yeah. But no, um, I'm enjoying the group. The group dynamic is working for me. And I'm happy with the world dynamic because we're going over to somewhere we don't know. It's a month and a bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how you actually play that in real time. You know, like Literally just real time. So we'll do minute for minute. four <laughs> hours of the journey uh, next Wednesday. And we'll just see how the first four hours of sailing goes, right? <laughs> Like an episode okay. of 24. No. I'll be sleeping on top of the mast. I've just never joke. watched that. Uh, we're probably going to just be uh, making some rules for what people did during the montage of the journey because, I mean, yeah. That's fine because actually, we could actually speak about that year. Indeed. Like, what? Whilst, whilst on ship, we could speak about the year that we just spent. Yeah. As I said, so, we can do with all that. That's, that sounds like a, an yeah. after game mm-hmm. chat. Um, anything yeah. else you want to add about the session? No, no. Um, no loved it. Dude. Good, I'm glad. It's nice to have you as well. It's um, it's nice to get a feel for this group as well. I'm really enjoying the fact that, mm-hmm. yeah, you are working together quite well. I know it might have seemed a bit chaotic today, but like sessions like today are good for the group because you learn what you do when given like free reign of a city. And you're like, what do we do? Piss off the person who kind of likes us. Okay, and then we'll run around I, collecting stuff. I will... Just before I like stop chatting altogether, I will apologise for cutting people off. Um, it's I'm not used to this online stuff. I'm used to face to face. Whereas if you want to talk, you raise your hand, kind of stuff. Yeah, took me a while um, as well, man. Audio yeah. audio but problems are the bread and butter of online gaming. Sadly, it's I've just I've now a... learned to use the Discord, mm-hmm. if I can mention it, because there's this lovely little ring that goes yep. around whoever's talking and now that i've got I found a charger that works with that mm-hmm. um yeah i hopefully will not cut you guys off unless i intend to which <laughs> i shouldn't do because i'm not that kind of guy and as i said if it's easier for people to checkpoint this type of stuff you can easily say a deer would try and cut you off mid-sentence and say and then you jump in with your role play so that like mm-hmm. feeling free to checkpoint dialogue is not a bad thing guys it helps other people out if people are going to talk over each other and i want to hear someone specific i'm probably going to jump in and ask for that person's info and um, it doesn't mean they don't yeah. want yours it just means that's the thing that might be the more important thing to me at that exact point in time i uh, right alvin once again you make endings that make me go ah you're welcome <laughs> that's the point <laughs> Oh, but Ryan is extra special at it. <laughs> um, but no, um, thank yeah, you, Scott. I appreciate that. It's good to be kind of plowing on finally on the boat, and uh, yeah, looking mm. forward to seeing what happens when we, if we land the boat, <laughs> <laughs> where you land the boat. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Be good. Anything else you want to add? Um, you didn't kill any students uh, this time. Then, then gra- I, I wanted to gravity bomb that bitch, but in the shop for not giving me free portions. But yeah, sure. Sorry, sure. we don't know if the past year he did or did not kill any students, but I'd like to believe he did. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I, I did not kill. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what interns? In, in his mind, he, you know, 
helped with the city over board like there's too many people in the city oh, I, didn't, so... I didn't do dick all for the city really no, but I in your to. mind you probably were yeah. like crucial to the defense of the city though um, <laughs> how alvin will tell the tale is that you were you know irreplaceable in the war against the invaders yeah hey, i'm irreplaceable <laughs> And that's why he just killed 52 students. I mean, it's fine. Right? I didn't know such thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. 74 <laughs> students. I mean, come <laughs> on. It's just... Two universities dead. <laughs> uh, 96 students. Anything else, Alvin? <laughs> Uh yeah, I'll probably have to kill this entire party next session. If I mean, to be honest, maybe not even intentionally, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, look, he oh. dropped something and gravity got us. Yeah. Um, uh, I wanna kiss This is when Alvin style. just gravity lifts the boat out of the ocean and then drops you guys. Yeah. Right. Um right, Cognac. I very much enjoyed speaking with the fishing shop man. Yeah. He enjoyed he speaking with you. Like he would be right up my street. <laughs> and I enjoyed my bad luck roll with athletics. <laughs> it was so um, well timed. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Drown? Rolls a one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll live here now. I can't tell if Alexander's laughing as him or Fleabite sometimes can use. <laughs> Both is good, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm enjoying the wee moments. Like, giving... Uh, if you bite the copper and just that really working out really well mm -hmm. it felt very natural that was good i like so, that interaction between did, the two did you see romance i mean romance cognac flea bite you have a romance i mean Cog bite. It's been a I don't know if I so... want to go down that route of like shipping names. <laughs> What's your yeah. gender? You let <laughs> them be themselves. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so cognac. <laughs> Flea bite. I mean, how's that going on? I mean, who's Flea neck? Are you just comfy? Cog bite. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> you were saying earlier it was um, sort of a, a fraternal relationship. I see it more as a buncular. Like, he's that sort of uncle and I'm his. Brothers. Oh Jesus! Don't yeah. go down that line. <laughs> Sweet home. He's the uncle, and you're the. Oh, I'm like a three-year-old child that is always just like tripping over things. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm very <laughs> old. Moving so swiftly so. onwards. So careful, right? There. Ryan, yes. please interject. So, interject now. Cognac, anything else to add? No. Uh, nothing of any value. That remains to be seen. I am finished. With then, yes, you were correct. Uh, flea bite. Do you want to give us your friend? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was good. Um, I liked uh, being in the with the counselor, mm -hmm. just um, hiding from the elf thing. <laughs> the elf thing. Yeah. I also like the concept that flea bite's been in this city for like a year plus, right? And people just know you as oh god, it's that rat thing again, like. I feel like you'd probably be a relatively known entity within certain parts of the city quite well. So, since you are like but a one of a kind thing. Whereas in Fleabite's mind, he's still like super sneaky and yeah. he's known him yet. No, no one's found him out. <laughs> <laughs> in like two years, but he's yeah. still. Yep. I like that though, because like... it's um, a nice uh, duality to the character where it's like, yeah, obviously nobody knows who Fleabite is. Fleabite's super sneaky. Yes, yes. Whereas everybody's like, God, it's the rat again. Just throw a copper out and I'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those moments of, ah, it's that thing. Throw, throw some money at it, it'll go away. And he goes, you give that thing money? <laughs> um, no, I do like that. Uh, uh, again, I like the bond between like Cognac and Fleabite, and I like the fact that it kind of is born from the fact that Cognac stuck up for you when you first like were being attacked when you arrived here and such. It is kind of very much a, ah, you're clearly the the person who protects. Yes, I will stick with you for the protect, protect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and 
just having general interactions. Like I think that was one of the first times I got to like talk to the, the blue thing. <laughs> yep, you got to speak to the blue thing. Yep, and he might be an elf. We're still unsure yet. <laughs> just uh, give everyone a, a bit more into the, the inner workings and sounds you know, about. Be good, and I, I hope that we can kind of share some of that as well in our montage of sailing as well next session. That'd be good to see. Uh, no pun intended. I can't really hear what Fleabag's saying. It's okay. Listen back on the recording. It'll all be perfect and uh, loud. Yeah. Um. Very enjoyable session. Good. Um. Glad you had fun. I like the idea of using wild shape for RPing and nothing else because it's because mm -hmm. of the way I'm going with the the character it doesn't necessarily use it in combat so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that um, I like how it opens up some opportunities for like um, what do you call it speechless interactions yeah descriptive stuff yeah yeah so that's, that's a lot of fun to mess around with um yeah, um, actually, di thinking of what my character did precisely was relatively minimal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I went to the council chambers, talked, went to the docks, stood on a boat, tried to help Thea, and then, yeah. She went, but, everybody did help Thea, because remember, she did bark orders, and everybody's yeah. contribution to that was a 19, somehow. So, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. So, yeah. I don't believe I helped with that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I dare sure like to did. believe he did something. Yeah. I feel like I feel like out of everyone, Thea would have probably got a deer to helm or something. Um, really? Oh dear. Yeah, he seems the most <laughs> straight. <laughs> like the, the most sort of org. Well, I'll wait till I'll wait till Yoon's done. Yeah, I was gonna say okay. louder. Anything else you want to add? Um. Yeah, I get a feeling that um, just from louder's background, the. Talking with somebody in the council wouldn't be his favourite interaction, considering I think that the like noble people from uh, Barus were the people that banished him, and uh, Which... he prefers to help out like the common folk and that sort of thing. So when the councillor speaks in a sort of like overlordy kind of "I'm better than you" kind of tone, he doesn't really enjoy that. I think it's, it's ironic from... though because they probably have respect for you based mm. on the fact that they don't have existing relations with Barris and they probably wouldn't mind having relations with Barris, so you're their first like yeah. ambassador they of that. They know how to keep out of them. <laughs> <laughs> but they probably Should don't. Know I'm an outcast. I mean, they probably think it's weird that you're there, right? Um, mm. But they probably don't know the, the inner details of that. I don't think you've probably shared that that much. Mm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think that I, I, so I tried to roleplay um, that at the start, but I think it, it kind of came out as me being untrusting of her, but it was just sort of like I'm annoyed at her attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's probably reminiscent of the people that obviously kicked you out yeah. as well. But yeah, and that, and that right. came through, because I mean, again, her yeah. attitude isn't she instantly hates everyone. Her attitude is, you are being unreasonable now. I'll find yeah. other people, right? Even though there isn't How really other people. How old are you, Lido? 390 something. Cool. But like <laughs> perspective wise, it's more a case of what age do you come across as because I you am a teenager. Quite old. Yeah, because what I mean by that, Adair, is that you wouldn't really have a sense of the Loxodon lifespan, right? Because you don't have like this is the first one you've ever met. Oh yeah, yeah. No, um, I mean. So yeah, he does come across parents. as an old elephant man. Yes. Yep, oh, no, yep. Personality wise, um, I'm like, you're like a little teenage girl, but you're 300 and something years old. I, I think I relish the wild shape as bringing some youth back into myself, I guess. Yeah, because your old foxy. bones aren't so, uh, you know, yeah. painful. Yeah, never thought about it. I also way. really want to get as a boat. <laughs> yeah, you, might, you might get one, you never know. Just, yeah. don't, just don't go we'll back. See. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking well, as soon as we left that council chamber. I was like, why don't we just steal the boat? Yeah, just never no, come back. because then, then, then my quest will never be completed. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing that... Uh, oh, no, we can no, just get no, all you said quest. Still, <laughs> no, wait, it still could actually be complete. Never mind. So, um, anything else you want to add for a move to Thea? I think I'd rather get a bigger boat than the one we're currently on. Okay, cool. Get you a bigger boat. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Get you a bigger boat. Thea. Uh, 
Yes, that was really fun. Uh, Good. I'm glad. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I'm too. enjoying all the characters. Um, I'm really liking how Adir's kind of the maybe sort of the admin trying to keep the group sort of on task. Um, <laughs> I think he wants to keep the group profitable. Key. I think is the uh, yes. key phrase there. Um, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, and kind of you know getting Theon and um, Lyuda kind of out of a potentially iffy situation with just trying to claim a vote. Um, just made me made me giggle. Yeah, made me giggle. Um, I I really really enjoyed um Cognax fishing. Uh, yeah. Thing and uh, I love uh, the fact he spent five gold on stuff he might not need at sea. <laughs> Cognac doesn't know that. Yeah, Cognac's yeah. just preparing for the worst, right? No, yeah, also, is, he's not preparing for the worst. My favorite he's thing is when you something that doesn't make sense. The puzzle to get into Runestad will be arrange the five rods you clearly brought from that other city. <laughs> 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 There's puzzle challenges. You're actually lightning rods. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Congratulations to south, southeast, but sorry, northern west. See ya. Um, yes, sorry. Um, no, yeah, I just, I just love the idea of like an old, an old um, turtle sitting at the front of the boat, just fishing away, mm-hmm. or being the, you know, how boats have like a, like a little, like decorative carving at the front. <laughs> Oh, like the figurehead? We just have a turtle just like lounging at the front run with his rod. Kind of suddenly pictured him as being the anchor for the ship. Yeah. <laughs> He's employed as the guy that hangs onto the chain and dives in. Yeah. Well, like based him. on his performance at swimming earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Solid oh, anchor. It was so good. Perfect roll. Yep. Um, that was that was perfect. Right, just sploosh. Um yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the the sort of like tension between Loud and Thea. Um, I wouldn't go as far to say as there's like an actual like dislike for each other, yeah. but there's there's that sort of like maybe Thea is a nerves. bit sort of like yeah, just a bit standoffish with uh, Loud just because just a tiniest bit of friction, right? Because your your methods and Loud's methods are very different. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. but interesting to see how that develops, especially since now Thea is being a source of utility and progress currently, with her knowledge of operating a ship. My God, what a change! Like right, but then maybe that's because it's the sea, and that seems to work well for Thea. So yeah, it's good. Thea's character comes up with more and more flavor that I just don't expect, and I love it. <laughs> good. She's gonna kill us all. Probably. No. <laughs> Uh, She'll kill everyone there's... and go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I quite liked them. Bring them back, <laughs> um, if only. I, I'm looking forward to kind of um, more time with Alvin um, on ship as well. It'll be it'll be nice to kind of get like more um, more character moments. With, yeah. Then uh, you know, well, I need to go for I need to go for a ship because I was like, this is a good opportunity to kind of work on that bond. Um, but at the same time, Thea is very one-minded when it comes to the sea. Um, so yeah, and uh, it'll be really interesting to get more time with Fleabite because we've not. I don't think I've had like any sort of real chance to to get to get anything done with Fleabite. So it'll be mm-hmm. good. It was nice. It was nice to see how everyone's kind of just settling into their characters as well. It's just, it's, mm-hmm. it's really good. And obviously, you know, you did a wonderful job of GMing as always. Thank you. Um, I'm happy to be pander too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Pander, 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 pander. Perfect. You're still the same level though. So. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> <rubar. laughs> yeah. I'm still amazed. I'm alive. I yeah. mean, the the way my character is, I'm due to die soon. Yeah, next session, don't worry, buddy. We got it covered. Yeah, got it all good. planned. No. Yep, yep. Uh, Thea, anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that's just about everything. Um... <laughs> Let me get my notes. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dump my my mighty tome. Uh, no, yeah, I, I can't. I can't think of anything. Um, 
It's okay, you don't have to. If that's everything, yeah, that's I'm it. happy with that. That's Thank it. you very much for playing, guys. It was fun as always, and I look forward to next time. Yep. Always yep. enjoy. See you after. Everybody, yep. say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye